I've been enjoying the RuneScape streams while working. some runes today. I'm so excited. I hope so. Hello, I'm here for the runescape themed bedtime for me.
This song is too long, I'm gonna play a different one. And this one's also too long. Come on, give me something short here. There. Man, all you goons talking about the fucking cold seeping in or whatever, like, you should've- you should've just picked the desert first. You- you didn't have to go to Cordon and freeze your dick hole off first, you could've picked the desert. We're gonna go to the desert. 30 plus 4 is a whole lot. Just flew in my room, A A A A Triple A what? Good morning. Pata. 
pretty pleasant morning so far. Uh, I woke up at like 8 o'clock-ish. It was a nice sunrise. And it wasn't rising at 8, at eight o'clock, but, you know, it was up. And I was like, ah, oh, let's go, it's bright out. And I had, a, I had a little breakfast, and I made myself a little coffee. I went out for a walk. Uh, I saw two cats, and neither of them wanted to come over and get pet. But uh, one of them blinked at me, so that was cool. Um, oh, damn, immediately I'm getting fucking frame drops. Thanks, internet. Damn, smooth sailing literally right up until I unmute and start talking. <laughs> but it's been a nice morning. I've had a good time. Uh, and then I got home and I was like, all right, let's uh, sit down with my drink and a clementine and let's uh, play some old school RuneScape. And then the launcher wouldn't let me in for a good 15, 20 minutes. <laughs> and so I was like, ah, right, the servers are getting slammed because all the people that took the day off work are trying to log in to the video game, right. And then I got in. Um, apparently people on the internet are mad about, like, streamers getting quote-unquote streamer privilege. Uh... Sorry. I guess. <laughs> sorry for being really cute and really cool. Uh, and being everyone's charming lesbian princess idol or whatever. I guess I'm more of a handsome lesbian prince than anything, but that's semantics. We're not here for that. We're here for RuneScape, aren't we? At least that's what I'm here for. I assume you're here to watch whatever I do. <laughs> uh, that's my sales pitch. You can pay me for it if you want. Subs, tips, bits. Never mandatory. Greatly appreciated. Uh, I need money to live. I guess everyone does, don't they? I'm gonna click buttons now. I lied, I actually was taking a really big drink of my drink. Now I'm gonna hit buttons. Turn the music off. So we can listen to RuneScape music. Wait, no, I wanted to go to a League world. That's the wrong world. It's not, this is not where I want to be. No, no, no. I guess I can, because I left my music muted. Okay, there we go. Log out. <laughs> what's a what's a fucking league world? Let's see. Um, U.S. East. Uh, four hundred is forestry. We're gonna go to four hundred. It's full. Hmm. Are there any league worlds that aren't full? Hmm. Are there any American league worlds that aren't full? Hmm. I had forgot about this part. There we go. The skilling bosses one. It's, uh, what? I don't know if that's U.S. East or U.S. West. Let's see. Uh, 538 is... 538. Uh, oh, that's an Australian world. Oh, I chose an Australian world. Well... <laughs> we'll make do, I'm sure. Welcome to Leagues 4, Trailblazer Reloaded. Leagues are time-limited game modes that give you new ways to experience the world of Gilinor. Ooh, cool, the tutor's looking cool now. Uh, the aim of each league is to complete tasks and earn league points. These points can then be exchanged for various unlocks and rewards. To begin your journey on Leagues 4, use the Get Started button below. Otherwise, you can use the Exit button to quit. <laughs> Get started. I can make myself look different? I don't want to do that. It's time to spend excruciating, painstaking hours making myself look the exact same as I do on my normal account. We're gonna be here a while. Where's the hair I was using? Was it this? I want to say it was this. I gotta pick the hair color. There's a little bit of input lag here, but I suppose I'm not gonna be doing anything terribly intensive uh, to start off with. Something is exploding out there. That's scary. Is that is that good? 
<laughs> uh, arms are fine. Hands are fine. Not yeah. I, I like the cuffs. I want the cuffs. I always liked the little goofy RuneScape cuffs. What kind of pants options we got? Maybe I'll make my pants different. New league, new me. Mostly just new pants, but I don't. I don't think I'm going for the tattered, fucked up pants. You know, let's go with these ones. I'll keep these boots, sure. Uh, torso. This don't matter too much. What if I go for blue in this one? Alright, cool. Confirm. The League's 4 progression is key. To help you keep track of it, you have the League's menu. This is an extra section of the journal panel whilst on a League's world. Let's open the League's menu now. To do so, look for the flashing quest icon on your screen. Uh, now that you have it open, click on the League's tab. You've completed your first task in League's 4! <laughs> You've opened the menu! Yippee! Completing tasks as the ticket to success in any league as doing so earns you league points. Let's talk about- let's take a look at the task list now. And to do so, look at the flashing task button in the leagues menu. It's this one that says tasks. This is the task list. Here you can see all the tasks available to you. Uh, while, while within the task list, you can view more information about each task, including difficulty, the amount of league points awarded for completion. Uh, so... You've got little things you can do. You go and do them. You get points. You use the points to unlock things in the league. Like, uh, places you can go. And powers that you have. You've completed Sheep Shearer? My god, how? <laughs> that shit's gonna be fucking, like, bottlenecked right now by everyone else thinking they can complete it at the start of the league. But by god, you're the one that actually did it. <laughs> There are five different tiers of task difficulty. The harder a task, the more league points you'll earn. Now, each league has hundreds of tasks that cover all aspects of the game. You can filter the task list to make it easier to find the right one for you. You can easily keep track of your progress within the league using the progress bar. As you progress, you'll gain access to new unlocks within your league, as well as new rewards on your main profile. Lots of tasks on offer during the league. Try and aim to complete as many as possible. Do you like... Doing achievements? Do you like doing little mini quests? Do you like a menu telling you, hey, go cut down a tree? And then you go, I guess I'm gonna cut down a tree. Good news about the League. In Leagues 4, the world of Gilinor is split up into different areas. Most of these areas have been locked off, but you can unlock new ones by completing tasks. So this is the main gimmick of Trailblazer, is, um,. You have, like, two chunks of the game you can access from the start. And as you do more of your tasks and earn more points, you can unlock three more areas. There are, like, ten total. So it's, uh, it's a fucking choice you have to make based on, hey, what kind of content do you want to do? What kind of skills do you want to be able to level up? Uh, what, what, what fights do you want to do? What guilds do you want to go into? What quests do you want to do? Can you live with your choices? Can you live with only having a couple? You're gonna have to. Alright, let's look for the flashing areas button. Click on that. This is the area selection menu. Here you can unlock new areas or teleport to previously unlocked ones. New areas are unlocked using tasks. The more tasks you have completed, the more areas you can unlock. The area selection menu can be used to easily track your progress towards the next unlock. There are ten different areas in Leagues 4, but you can only unlock five of them. Your first area has been unlocked automatically. It's the Kingdom of Mistalin. It's the one that we're in right now. Mistalin, Misthalen, however the fuck you want to pronounce it. I don't give a shit. I'm not your boss. To unlock additional areas, you can use the Area Information Panel. Uh, clicking on any area will bring up the respective Area Information Panel. As well as letting you unlock new areas, the Information Panel can also be used to teleport to already available areas. Ah, oh, I was wondering how they do that. This is my first time playing one of these, so uh, I wasn't sure how they would handle the- Yeah, we'll let you teleport to the places you, that you can get to. 
Now that you've completed your first task, you can unlock your second area. For your second area, let's unlock the island of Karamja. Remember, you can unlock an area using the area information panel. Right. So, you start with Mistalin and Karamja, by default, except they make you unlock this as like a tutorial. Covers the island of Karamja, along with the island of Crandor, and the realm of the Fisher King! Uh, underground areas will also be included. You can own a POH here, it will be placed in Brimhaven, so that construction can be trained from level 1. All transportation and teleportation through charter ships, customs officers, known gliders, ferry rings, balloons, and other forms of transport will require you to have unlocked access for the area your destination is in. And here's all the stuff that's in it. It's, it's a whole bunch of stuff. Don't worry about it. You get this by default anyways. So, so you'll have it. You can look at this whenever. You are about to unlock Karamja as your second area. All participants are given Mistalin and Karamja as their first two areas. For later unlocks, you can choose which area you want to select. It's your choose. Yo, my map exploding on fire, let's go! Those fun little jingles. Completing tasks doesn't just give you access to new areas. The leak points you earn from completing them can be used to unlock powerful relics. Let's take a look at these relics now, okay. This is the relic selection menu. You can unlock powerful relics to use during the league. <laughs> Cook's assistant got you to fucking 11? Let's go! Relics are unlocked using league points. The more points you have, the more relic tiers are available to you. There are eight relic tiers in total. The menu can be used to easily track your progress towards the next one. Uh, so you have different ones you can pick from. They all give you some pretty substantial buffs. Um, in, like, various different ways, whether that's combat or skilling or convenience otherwise. It's cool. Each relic tier contains up to three different relics, all of which have unique powers. Once you've unlocked it, you can choose a relic from within it. Da -da 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 -da. You can only pick one relic from each tier. There is no respec. There is no changing your mind. You can pick one, and you have to be sure which one you're picking. You can pick one from each tier and have eight total all throughout. You have to make a choice. You can't go, oh, I want to try this one instead. You have to make your choice and live with it for two months. Unless you don't want to play, in which case it doesn't matter. <laughs> Clicking on a relic, even one from a locked tier, will bring up the relic information panel. From there, you can view info on that relic, and if it's available, decide if you want to unlock it. For each relic you have available, you'll gain passive effects. The passives for each tier is displayed on the relic info panel of any relic in that tier. I think the passive is the same for each tier, it doesn't matter which one you pick. The first relic tier is free, so if you want, you can unlock your first relic now. If you'd rather decide later, just choose the relic selection me close the relic selection menu with the cross in the top right corner. Alright, so. Endless Harvest. Let's see. Items from some sources will be two times as common. Run energy will never drain. All clues will drop as scroll boxes. You'll only receive clues you can complete in your chosen area. That's the passive everyone gets at the first tier. So, remember, there are no cheats in RuneScape. But, uh, these aren't cheats because they're legal. So Endless Harvest is you get double items from, like, gathering. Uh, you get all the experience for the extra items. Uh, everything is automatically banked when you're gathering. Um, and things that, you know, can't be banked go in your inventory. Then uh, there's Production Prodigy. When doing the following activities, all items are processed at once. Uh, when you're making ore, when you're smithing ores, when you're smithing bars, uh, not with superheat, like at an anvil, uh, and making cannonballs. When you're fletching logs, stringing bows, and cutting bolt tips. When you're cleaning herbs, making potions. When you're cooking food and making jugs of wine. When you're crafting. Uh, and also you get full XP for all of the items that are just made immediately. You also have a 25% chance of making an extra product. Which can get just chucked into your bank if uh, you don't have the inventory space. Which also grants extra experience. And... Crafting, smithing, herb lore, fletching, and cooking have a plus 12 boost. There's also Trickster. 
You will automatically re-pickpocket your target. Loot from pickpocketing is doubled and noted. Uh, coin pouch limit is multiplied by three. Effectively, what this does is it just makes pickpocketing, like, AFK. And you get more from it. Uh, you will be given Sage's Greaves, which grant agility XP that scales with your level while running. Uh, box traps for hunting. Uh, the box traps lures are... Oh, they lure creatures faster. I can't fucking read. I just woke up, like, two hours ago. <laughs> Loot from box traps is doubled. You can't break Ibling Jars. You can burn nine logs at once for fire making. You cannot fail thieving, agility, hunter, or fire making actions. Uh, this relic gives you an item, so it must be unlocked at a bank. So you pick Endless Harvest if you want to do a lot of AFK gathering. You pick Production Prodigy, Pro Prodigy if you really like the idea of being very, very efficient at, like, making a bunch of things at once. And you pick Trickster if, one, you have a grind you know you're gonna want to do that involves a lot of pickpocketing, uh, or if you really, really, really want to get shit from Hunter, or if you don't have, like, Winter Toad unlocked because you didn't pick Corend, essentially. <laughs> Trickster is an interesting one with a bunch of, like, interesting edge cases. And because of the areas I want to pick, it doesn't seem especially useful to me. I'm gonna go for Production Prodigy. Confirm. I'm getting powered. Let's go. Yo, thank you PK something for that brand new sub. Brand new? Resub. I've been keeping up with the RuneScape streams, but I hope you've been well and enjoying ruining those skates. Hey, hell yeah! Well, good news for you is this is like completely fresh start because it's a league. Uh, so you're catching it all from the top. <laughs> Thanks for that resub, I appreciate it. You are now ready to properly start your adventures in Leagues 4. If you need a recap, you can use the info button in the Leagues menu at any time. The Sage in Lumbridge can provide you with some useful guidance. When you're ready to begin, just use end tutorial to get started. Doing the tutorial and shit like that, uh, it's just, hey, it's, it's free, it's, it's free tasks. It's free stuff, you've done it. Alright, let's look at our tasks. I want all easy tasks. Uh, for Mistelin. Use the Lumbridge Castle range to cook food. Pickpocket ham. Thank you for stream announcement. It made you go outside and get fresh air. You gotta learn to do that on your own instead of because someone prompted you. <laughs> you need to make some lifestyle choices or you might expire. Uh, steal from the Barok tea stall. Drain or agility course. Drain or agility course is real easy. You can just run there from the start. You were kind of intimidated by leagues? Don't be. Leagues is literally the goofy fun time mode. Leagues is everyone has ridiculously boosted experience rates and item drop rates, and you get like ridiculous powers that let you do goofy shit. <laughs> it it it's it's the fun time sauce mode. <laughs> Uh, Varrock Agility Course, make water runes, kill the demon in the tower, which people are probably lining up for again like last time. Get a Slayer task, enter Zanaris. Uh go to Fossil Island, pet a dog, do Sheep Shearer. Doing- saying that Sheep Shearer is an easy task is fucking bold. Uh, considering that, like, that's gonna be fucking impossible to do while 300 people are trying to shear sheep. Uh, get boots from the Stronghold of Security, do Vampire Slayer, do- We gotta do fucking Romeo and Juliet. Okay. Uh, fully unlock the Mushroom Teleports, complete Gertrude's Cat, build a bank on Fossil Island. I've never done anything on Fossil Island. Use a Fairy Ring, do the Natural History Quiz, enter Drain or Matter, pet another dog, taste a Dorgishan delicacy. The, the fun thing about this is that there's so much stuff in RuneScape I've never done or even seen. Uh, this will be a fun way to sort of, you know, see it for the first time and learn it with wacky powers. Milk a cow, insult Aggie the witch, feed a Draenor guard some stew, have Ned make you some rope, get a chair to follow you. You can just do that in Draenor Manor, can't you? Uh, get your revenge against a dark wizard south of Varrock. Chop a log from a potato tree? Oh. From a tree that is curiously in a potato field. Churn butter. 
Uh, have Elsie and Verop tell you the story, slash a web. Charm Gertrude. I don't know if we can do the Charm Gertrude one. We need, like, a ring for that. That requires, like, specific area and completion and stuff. Alright, cool. So there's different types of ones you can do. In different areas. For different amounts of points. Uh, let's look at our different relic choices. Uh, Fairy's Flight. Passive effect for this tier. Uh, XP multiplier goes from times 5 to times 8. Minigame points received are boosted by 3 times. That's cool. You mean to tell me potatoes do not grow from trees? Uh, generally no, but, I mean, I won't stop them if they do. It's not my business. Please don't make a loud, scary noise your boss will hear and hunt you. Ah, I'm not a fucking snitch. <laughs> I'm not gonna tell your fucking boss. Listen, boss makes a dollar, I make a dime. That's why I'm leveling woodcutting on company time. You know? Uh, so you can get Fairy's Flight, which is... You will receive a fairy mushroom, which can be used to teleport you to any fairy ring, spirit tree, or... Tool Leprechaun. Very importantly, they buffed it so you can teleport to any fucking farming patch. Any fucking farming patch with this one. So I'm probably picking it. <laughs> Cannot be used to teleport to an area you haven't unlocked. It can be equipped in your shield slot. And it must be unlocked at a bank because it gives you an item. Or Globetrotter. Uh, same passive effect. They're the same every tier. You'll be given a Globetrotter pendant which grants access to the following. Teleports from a fully upgraded jewelry box. The following teleports from the portal nexus, which is your, your at your house. Just all the teleports. You get all of the jewelry box teleports and all of the portal nexus teleports. From an item you can carry with you. Which is good. But. That's something that you can, you know, just build anyways. And invest in. Th meanwhile, this. Like, yeah, it you... you you can use, like, fairy rings and, and, like, spirit trees and stuff already after some fiddling, but... Two leprechauns? No, 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 you gotta walk to those, so that, that's kinda big. Tier 3. Passive effects. You get the Crystal of Memories, which, importantly, was a relic in a previous league, and it was just the best teleport relic. And so they went, okay, instead of trying to balance around that, let's just make this a thing that everyone gets and scale it based on, like, your total level. Uh, so you can teleport, you know, to a place you just were. Okay, so that's just what the passive is on that level. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, Banker's Note. You get an item. You can note and unnote items anywhere you want. Anywhere. You can use items on the Banker's Note to unnote or note all of them, much like a bank. Uh, using the banker's note on the item will not work. The activate option allows you to note and unnote items in one action with a specified quantity. Object must first be da da da. Basically, what it is is anywhere you want. You can turn stuff into a stackable item or unstack them so they're usable. Which is uh, really fucking good because you have limited inventory space and you can carry three million sharks with you into any combat encounter if you want. Or Fire Sale. Uh, all shops that use coins are free of charge. All items purchased from select shops can be noted, provided the items can be noted at all. Uh, there's a button to toggle that. Shops no longer buy items for gold. Which is interesting. But I want this one. <laughs> so I'm taking this one. Uh, then tier 4 is you choose one of these to basically go, okay, this one combat style I'm just really good at. I'm gonna go for Archer's Embrace. I wanna do Archery. I wanna do Crossbow. I wanna do Bow. Uh, but all of them are really good. It's, so it's just a matter of which one do you wanna do. Uh, so like, you get... All of your attacks are faster. Uh, for Bow specifically, you have 90% ammo saving. If you get a, when a, any of Ava's devices, it goes to 98%. I don't think I can get an Ava device. Because I think that's Fremenic, and I'm not picking that. But hey, 90% by default is pretty fucking good. Uh, bolts have a 2 times chance to proc. 10% uh, chance that you fire an extra projectile 
and your accuracy is much higher. All right, here's the passive. Items, item drops are three times as common. Uh, bigger and badder Slayer unlock is free. Slayer points are times five from tasks, aren't limited to a minimum of ten tasks. Uh, so basically you get a bunch of Slayer buffs and items uh, drop better. Brawler's Resolve is the melee one. Uh, you swing faster. Uh, if you have a weapon that has charges, it saves 90% of charges. Immune to all status effects. Immune to all status effects. 10% uh, chance to deal a crit, which does double damage. You have 50% melee accuracy. Uh, and then the, all your defenses are increased big-wise. So Brawler's Resolve is really good. One thing I almost did build-wise that I decided in the end, nah, I don't think I want to commit to doing two of the harder raids for rare drops to make this work. But something you can do that you can basically only do in this league, uh, I think people are calling it like the fucking door build. Um, you go to Chambers of Zarek, in Korend, you do that raid until you get Din's Bulwark. Din's Bulwark is a two-handed shield that is a weapon. Uh, its damage scales based on your defenses as well as your strength. And then you go and you get Mauritania and you do uh, Theater of Blood and you get the Justiciar armor or Justicar armor, whatever it's called whose whole gimmick is literally just this armor gives you a lot of defense. Uh, and then you basically are invulnerable, not literally, but basically, um, and you're swinging around a giant shield doing like high 50s, low 60s uh, on average. Uh, if you want to go even more ridiculous, because you're already tanky, uh, you go for, um, what is it, the, the, the blood whatever amulet necklace that lets you, like, drain health on attacks. And then you get the relic that lets you spend, uh, your health to do weapon special attacks. And then you just, you know, have a spec weapon in your inventory to do, like, a big burst if you gotta, or to, like, you know, ruin someone's defense. And then you slap the shield back on, and you've got a fucking shield on you. Uh, the shield special attack is also, like, an area of effect, which is good for, like, if you want to do multi-combat Slayer stuff. Uh, it's pretty fucking good. It's really fucking funny. And also, this league specifically empowers that build to be really goddamn strong. So if you want to commit to doing two whole fucking raids just for a chance to do this build, it's a good build. I'm not doing it. I'm doing Archer. I changed my mind in the end, but it's a good fucking build. People are doing it. I'm glad people are doing it. And here's the wizard one. Uh, you attack faster. You save 90% of your runes and your charges. Bind spells always hit on an unfrozen, non-freeze immune target. Uh, you get an item that lets you change any spellbook you want. You get a rune pouch. Rune pouches store two more types of runes. Uh, all your magic attacks deal 25% splash damage. Even ones that, like, don't splash, from the sound of it. Only works in multi-combat areas. Your accuracy is increased a lot, your damage is increased somewhat. Same passive. So, all of these are good. The pick that you make is based on, okay, what combat style do I want to do? And what areas am I picking that have content that, you know, I can do with that style? Tier 5. Treasure Seeker. First of all, the passive effect. 12 times XP multiplier, 5 times minigame points. That's for everything in this tier. Creatures that drop clue scrolls have a 1 in 15 chance of dropping them. Oh! <laughs> okay, this is the clue scroll pervert one. <laughs> clue geodes, nests, and bottles are found 10 times more often. Clue scrolls have the lowest number of steps possible for their tier. Ah, this is the Clue Scroll Pervert one. Okay. Okay. Interesting. Every Clue Scroll casket will roll the max amount of rewards it can give. And roll the same item more than once. 
There's a chance when opening a clue casket, you will receive another casket of the same tier. This is more common the lower the casket tier. There is a chance for this additional casket to be upgraded to a tier above the one you opened. Okay, so mandatory bonus goodies from a, from a, clue, from a clue scroll. Bloodthirsty. Step one, wait for it to blood. You're able to get a Slayer task and cancel a Slayer task by sleeping to a Slayer Master or checking your Slayer status via your gem, helmet, or ring. Superior Slayer creatures have a 1 in 25 chance to appear. They will give Slayer points when killed based on their level and difficulty. Uh, they now have double the number of rolls on the lesser creature's drop table. It does not double the amount of rolls on the superior creature's unique drop table. Huh. 25% chance that a superior monster will appear as a bloodthirsty version with boosted offensive stats. This will triple the number of rolls on the lesser creature's non-unique drop table plus a roll on its own unique drop table. It will also drop guaranteed clue scrolls if it's on the superior's drop table. Interesting. Okay, so you get a lot of goodies from a dude that's scarier. Cool, 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 cool. And guaranteed scrolls. Expeditious and Slaughter Bracelets will no longer consume charges and have a 35% chance to trigger. I don't know what those are. I've never done Slayer. <laughs> Infernal Gathering. Uh, you will receive a set of Trailblazer tools, which can be used with no requirements. The pickaxe and axe will do their respective skilling action 0.6 seconds quicker than their normal tool equivalent. The harpoon increases fishing speed by 1.2 seconds. All three tools have the same bonus as crystal tools? Okay. Okay. All right. I see. I see. <laughs> Any ore mined with the pickaxe will be smelted into a bar, smithing XP given regardless of smithing level. Okay. Okay. Any fish caught with the Trailblazer Harpoon will be cooked and cooking XP given, regardless of cooking level. This will work even for fish that don't require a harpoon to be caught if the harpoon is equipped or in your inventory. Any logs chopped with the axe will be burned and fire making XP given, regardless of fire making level. On death, these tools are lost and can re re reclaim from the sage. Uh, hmm. So this is the... Do you just want a free infernal tool? that's like on par with the highest level tools that you can get that also have no skill requirements so you can just keep using them forever. Interesting, interesting, compelling. That would be good with Endless Harvest? No, because it automatically changes them to processed items. Right? So then they don't get banked. This, this, this would be good with Banker's Note, so that you can fucking bank them and keep doing it forever. Also, if you're doing woodcutting, you don't get any items from it, because it automatically burns them. Thank you, Nami's Rot, for that resub. Ho ho 29. Ho ho. Thank you very much. This is gonna be a difficult choice. I'm gonna have to fucking think about this one. Tier 6. Uh, what's the passive? Oh, uh, four times drops. Okay. Each time you gain XP, you gain additional XP equal to 10% of your total level. Additional XP given by the Relic is not multiplied by your League's XP multiplier. Your lowest skill will receive 20% total XP instead of 10. If chosen with Production Prodigy, each item processed will trigger this effect. Okay, so it's just, do you want more XP? Do you want more XP per XP? There you go. Farmer's Fortune. Harvest patches at a rate of up to 25 times per action, noting any contents you receive. All patches give three times the yield. Farming patches grow instant. Your patches will never die? I'm thinking about it. 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 The farmer? The farmer? The farmer? Or... Ruin his powers. Um, which was a thing they pulled a while ago as like a new book of prayers. And then there was like playtesting for it. And they were like, this is way too strong. There's no reason to use this. There's no reason to use the normal prayer book over this because these just kind of power creep the normal prayers out. 
so we're not gonna add this to the video game. But this is a league where they're giving you ridiculously powerful shit anyways. So if you just want some goofy fucking strong prayers, there you go. Uh, of note, of note, if you're a melee build and you don't pick um, whatever area gives you fucking piety, or if you're a ranged or wizard build and you don't pick Korend, I think this is how you get the best prayer for, like, your damage, right? Because you can't get those other prayers. I don't remember what all the ruinous powers are, but I'm pretty sure there's some, like, good fucking damage ones in there. Alright, tier 7. Soul Stealer. All your attacks have an increased minimum hit. Okay, so it, it, it levels out your damage a little better. When one of your attacks successfully hits... There is a 50% chance you restore your hit points and prayer by 10% of the damage dealt? Does not work for multi-target attacks or special attacks. Will work with the Scythe of Vitur's initial hit. Only work for its secondary hits if those hits have this hit the same target. Okay. Interesting. 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 What if you just had the suck? What if you just had the suck and lived forever? And so that one's really good, but it's also up against in the same tier. Weapon Master. Every 30 seconds, your special attack energy is restored by 30%. If you have no special attack remaining, you can use 25 hit points for a special attack. Your special attacks have 100% accuracy against monsters, and they have a minimum hit of whatever your max hit is, 20% of that. So all your special attacks hit more, hit for more, hit always, and you can just burn your blood to do more. So <laughs> this this tier is stacked, and then Berserker. Damage is increased against monsters by 0.4% per hit point you are missing. Your damage is equal to your max hits on monsters with full hit points. Your damage is equal to your max hit. Oh, so like your first swing, if something's at full health, is always gonna be like the max damage, I guess. This also seems pretty good. This also seems pretty good. Uh, and also the passive is 16 times XP times eight uh, minigame points. And then the final tier, Executioner. Uh, you get a cool ax that automatically kills targets below 20% hit points. Attack range of 6 tiles, respect any range damage reduction that, as a target already possesses, uh, and it gives you an item for it. Also, items are 5 times as common, drops are 5 times as common. Undying Retribution. When you take fatal damage, you restore all your hit points in prayer. You will deal damage to all monsters or players within 2 tiles of you. Uh, the damage is 200% of your prayer level in PVM, and in PvP it's 50% of your prayer level. 3 minute cooldown on the effect. Cooldown is reset on actual death. Uh, will not work on NPCs that are recoil immune. With some exceptions. Here are the exceptions. Um, pretty goddamn good. Do you want a button that just says, was I about to die? No. Explode you. There you go. Guardian. You'll receive a Guardian Horn, which allows you to summon a powerful Guardian Thrall, which lasts for 30 minutes. Uh, the Guardian will attack your target with whatever style it is weak to. It will hit much higher than regular Thralls, has very high accuracy. When you're in multi-combat, it will attempt to cast an area of effect attack if the primary target is weak to ranged or magic. This can be toggled using the relevant option in the Guardian Horn. It has a minimum hit of 6, a maximum hit of 15, attack speed of 5, and accuracy of 45,000. You do not need to be on the Arceus spellbook to use this, and you can also summon regular thralls alongside the Guardian. You can roll up to the boss fight with two of your buddies and just go, I got two of my buddies. <laughs> Will not deal damage to other players. It works in the gauntlet uh, and gives you an item, so you gotta be in a bank for it. So, all of these are really good. 
Uh, Executioner is, like, the simplest to understand. Uh, and also is, like, basically just for bossing. You're probably not really gonna want to use this for, like, Slayer stuff, unless you're specifically against, like, a Slayer, a slayer boss. But it's still good for when you're doing boss stuff. Which you're probably gonna want to do at some point. So there's a lot of good relics! <laughs> is the point here. Um, so now we can play the video game, by which I mean I'm gonna talk to the sage. Hey, bro. Uh... Let's see. Do we have any league items to collect? Probably not, I've never done a league. Uh, oh, but I get freebies, okay. Uh, that's all I really wanted to say. I'm good, thanks. Okay. I think I have different hair than what I had on my normal account. What did I get? A strange device, a strange device. Free Draymond staff, I have a single shrimps. I gotta bank my shit. I have too much in my pockets. Put that shit away! I guess while I'm here I should talk to the cook. Get that quest from him. Look at all these people running around in here. It's so goddamn funny. Hey man. What's up? What's the matter? Yes. Let's do cook's assistant. I know where to get all that stuff. Bye bye I'm smart. I know anything. I don't need your help. Bye bye I love seeing just the, like, big ol' swaths of fire everywhere. Uh, where is the bank? Bank. What is that awful sound? Is that the fucking fire? Alright. Um. Put this away. Put this away. Put this away. Put this away. Put shrimps away. Put the dagger away. Uh, put these away. I'll just equip these for now. Put my runes away. Put all my runes away. Put my runes away. Someone's making duck sounds here. Put this away. Put this away. Put this away. Put my can of soda away. Put the staff away. Oh, I guess I had two. Um, I'll just equip my snark bow. I need the bucket. I need the pot. Alright. Let's go. It's time to assist a cook. That's examine. That's not climb down. Alright. Uh, so what do we need again? I said I, and I know everything I need for you, buddy, and then I actually forgot everything I need for you. Uh, flour and an egg. And milk. We do it. Ah. It's- it's so fucking funny seeing all these people just all splayed out like this doing all this stuff. There's fires burning everywhere. There's like 30 people trying to wrangle all these sheep. There's people dropping like a bunch of... Uh valuable items to taunt other players. Do I know what areas I'm gonna pick? I sure do. All of these chickens have been slaughtered. I'll slaughter too. Hey man, do you mind? I'm shooting a chicken here. I'll talk to you in a second, Captain Arnav. Yeah, help you in a sec, bud. Hang on. No, 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 I don't want to attack a chicken. Okay. What's up? Oh, hang on, I gotta kill this chicken first, man. Alright, my first level up. I literally can't even tell like, which ones I killed or not. Okay, let's help with the treasure. Yeah, I'll help. What you got? What you got? Okay. Bowl... Bar. Bar. Thanks, man. It's money. I'll take the goods. Let's see what, what, what one bones gives us. A task. <laughs> well, good enough. Oh, that's iron arrows. I don't have those. Mine was bronze. Alright. So now... This dude's just... No, he's not ignoring his genie. Never mind. He's talking to his genie. 
I was like, damn, this dude's really ignoring a genie on day one of, <laughs> of the league? That's free experience. You need that shit. All right, I also have to kill a goblin. That's a task, I know that much. Yeah, I do love the, like, big old celebratory music. For just doing something like, oh, you shot a chicken. You put bones in the ground. It's good. It's good. Got him. All right, take bronze arrow. We took out a goblin. We got some money. We got bones. All right. Let's get wheat. We're in a wheat field. Where's the crying emote? I know that one is apparently a task. <laughs> Yippee! <laughs> Off to a good start. Off to a great start. This is awesome. Uh, I'm probably going to be a little more looking at the wiki and seeing what's optimal about the League than I am just on my normal account. And I think that'll be a fun way to learn some stuff about this video game that I don't know about yet. One for dancing in a graveyard? Awesome. I gotta find a fucking graveyard. Alright, we made some Fowler. Let's go milk a dang cow. You know we got our milking out here. You know we're milking. You know what's up. It's free milking. <sighs> what else could it be? Who else but milkmen? Are there shears over here? Can I just get- yes, there are shears over here. What if I made a really inadvisable choice here? Um... Let me go in the- oh, no, I want to go in the- don't close the door, let me in the house! <laughs> Someone took the shears, so I gotta wait for them to spawn. I'll talk to Fred the Farmer and get the quest started, at least. Oh, wrong- wrong button. I'm lost. Hey man, I'm looking for a quest. 20 balls of wool? Damn, no problem! It's not like 3 million people are also trying to get the sheep right now or anything. Oh, right, he gives you shears, never mind. It's so easy to shear sheep, that's what they all say! Smile. Thanks, okay. Now, I know I said it was gonna be a bad idea to try and go and get, you know, a bunch of sheep sheared for this quest while everyone else is trying to do it. Be that as it may. It's mine, you dickhead! <laughs> no, it's a ram, it's a ram. No, no, no. It's a fucking war zone out here. <laughs> that's three! No, that's the thing. Let's go, that's four! <laughs> Remember, try not to do this frame one, day one, unless you're a fucking genius like me who can click these sheep like it's no one's business. Then maybe you're just smart and good at your job. Just saying. <laughs> just saying. They're calling her the number one sheep shearer. In all of Eastern Canada, in all of the Eastern Canadian seaboard, she's the best there ever was. No one else is doing it like her. No one else could even think to do it like her. And she's literally out here, playing on, like, Australian servers with latency. And still look at how she does this. It's amazing! Uh, yeah, it, it's a members-only thing. Because, like, 90% of the activities in this video game are members only. 
And so, like, there would be nothing for you to do or unlock if you were doing this as a free-to-play. See, look, she's already got 14! She's already got 14 of these fucking wolves! And look, another one is spawned right next to her?! That's just efficient. That's just efficient. This is- this is ridiculous! This is obscene! She's changed the game forever! No one has ever done it quite like her, and no one will ever do it quite like her ever again, at least not on the first day. Uh... <laughs> this will be substantially less... impressive or stressful... in, like, probably a day. <laughs> By the time everyone's cooled off from, like, trying to do Sheep she right at the start. We got it. Damn, what the fuck is dropped over you? Oh, it's just the Shattered Relic outfit. Uh, you can get outfits from previous leagues. And then you can uh, redeem them and wear them and stuff as fashion here. What's this Waystone? What? Hang on. Channel Waystone? What does that do? What does, what does this do? Oh, it just shows my league areas. Okay. It makes a cool sound. I like to hear a cool sound. Alright. So let's go spin our wheel. Let's go spin our wheelies. Oh, wait, no. We're here. Let's do Cook's Assistant. Hey, man. I got the goods. I got the stuff. Do I get to go to the Duke's party? No. <laughs> Oh well! We immediately hit cooking level 11. <laughs> it's literally that easy. <laughs> just, just help him make a shitty cake. Alright, let's cook this damn chicken. We have cooked a chicken on the range. It's literally that easy. <laughs> right, Hannah, what are all these people talking about RuneScape is so grindy? You, you do one cook's assistant and you're level 11 cooking already. It's that easy. All right. All my wool spun up all at once. I'm now crafting level three. It's literally that easy. It's literally that easy. What's the issue? What's the problem? Happy Wide Girl Wednesday? Fuck yeah, it is. That's every Wednesday for me. Let's go. Put all my feathers away. Uh, deposit my, my paltry sum of coins. Um, then we ought to do something after that. Let's see. Get my axe out, get my pickaxe out. You know what, actually? I think we're gonna go fishing. I think we're gonna go fucking fishing. That's what I think. I mean, first we gotta t turn in our fucking... Balls of wool. Remember, don't do sheep shearer day one, because everyone else is gonna be hitting those sheep. Unless you're a fucking genius, like me. In which case, you don't have problems ever. So. Been watching all the VODs while working? Hell yeah! Uh, it's the start of a new league, so we're doing all that shit from the start again, but this time we have powers. Wait, imp, imp, imp? I have to do imp catcher again! Fuck! Oh, someone else attacked this thing, so I don't get any drops. Damn. Is this the stream of the rules pick genius? It sure fucking is. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> Thank you, Shanghai Omai, for the 4113 sub. They're calling her the genius of leagues. Uh, she's never done any mid or high game. High level, rather. Any mid level or high level anything in this video game? But she's still the genius of it. I got the balls. Here you go. Thanks for paying me. 
Crafting level 9, it's that easy? It's literally that easy? My levels are going up, up? My total level is 69? Let's go? <laughs> They're calling her the genius of RuneScape? I have to log out! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, league's over, everyone. It was fun while it lasted. No rewards for me. One nice thing is you do just have infinite run. Infinite sprint. Sprint forever. Run forever. Tavern forever. Take it from me. This line of burnt shrimp. How sad it is to see. Very nice of people to just, you know, be making a bunch of uh, fires here. What's a league in RuneScape terms? Um, it is a limited time event that runs for, this one's like two months. Uh, and you get like boosted experience and drop rates, etc, etc. And you get, like, ridiculous powers, and there's also a gimmick to it. The gimmick to this one is you can only do... You can only go to certain areas. You have to complete jobs to unlock areas. There are ten areas in the game. You can unlock five. And we're shrimping. Oh, we're out here shrimping. You know we're shrimping. A bunch of people here so there's gonna be a bunch of people talking about the video game and i hope no one says any gamer words but i suppose i can find a way to just filter off public chat <laughs> somebody here just said you're all lames which is like a fucking <laughs> it's like a kindergartner insult uh, i do gotta go on break i'm gonna keep on fishing while i'm on break uh realistically i'm just gonna be like pecking away at my computer during the break so I don't get logged out, but I'm gonna go stretch and stuff. I got a toilet. Get up and have a stretch. We'll be back in a bit. Thank you. 
get real comfy and we have 11 shrimp <laughs> uh, but yeah if if you're if you're a fucking fiend like me and you plan on just fucking gaming all day uh take breaks <laughs> remember to take fucking breaks i went for like a full ass walk and jog this morning uh, and I'm doing, like, stretches and squats and <laughs> exercising and stuff in between. My fishing is seven. My fishing go up up. Also, yeah, I do, like, hand and wrist stretches and stuff. Let's see. Uh, rod. We can get sardines now, technically. Let's see. Let's go cook these. No, I don't want to use them on a guy. Use them on the fire. Start cooking. We only burned one. Alright, we're level 20 now. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Burn some food! Task complete! Thanks, man! <laughs> Successfully cook five pieces of food. Okay. Uh, <laughs> first level 20, okay. I got a bunch doing that. All right. Task complete. Do a whole bunch of shit. Uh, eat some purple sweets. So we need to do clue scrolls to get purple sweets. Also, we need to do clue scrolls to get colored logs. Easy clues. We, we got a goblin. After all, this still isn't Goblin League. <laughs> uh, Winter Toad we can't do yet. Uh, let's see. Well, let's just look at... Um, area... All. No, that, that shows every area. Global, that's what I wanted. Other logs, purple sweets, easy clue, beginner clue, do a moss giant, defeat a guard. We certainly can't do that yet. Five prayer points at an altar. Superhuman strength and improve reflexes at the same time. Two scrolls. Bunch of stuff we've already done. More total level. Uh, base level? Oh, in every skill. Okay. 28 coin pouches at once. That's just doing thieving a lot. Pickpocket a man or a woman? Sure. I need to get more fishing equipment. Where can I get... Let's see. Uh... Fishing rod. Just basic ass fishing rod. Um. Shop location. We have a bunch in Karumja. At Fernahay's Fishing Hut. By Shiloh Village. Have I ever fished in real life? Yeah, a little bit. Alright, let's go to Karumja. We got our fun little new teleport animation. Whee! Here we are. Snakes. Monkeys. 
someone's wiggly little pet. <laughs> Can I just take this iron pickaxe, or is that something someone dropped? Someone dropped it. Okay. Alright, um, where are we? We are at Rimhaven. There's the agility arena here. We can... Where is Shiloh Village? It's all the way down there. Uh, so I'd have to get there somehow. I have never been to this area of Karamja before, so this is all new to me. <laughs> uh, thank you, Asointin, for that brand new sub. Much appreciated. Kind of an odd Z username. Wonder if it means anything. Oh, I'm getting attacked by something or other. You love to see it or don't. Good thing I have food. Alright, let's look at the map. We don't want to go to Taibo One Eye. We want to go further south. looking area. The plum trees. Funny little vines all over the place. Yo, thank you, Goobatron, for that reset. Much appreciated. People are out here getting fish. Oh, there's gem rocks here. Okay. So we can just straight up get gem rocks. Oh, jungle spiders. Okay, I see. <laughs> All right. So how do I get over? Oh, there's a bridge. There we go. That's how. It's that easy. It's literally that easy. Scorpions! What level are they? Oh, just 14. That's not that bad. I mean, they're gonna fucking kill me, but it's not that bad. Where is the entrance to your village? Where's the, where's the doorway? How, how get in? <laughs> Let me in. I I can climb over broken cart. No, that's, uh, there's dead guys there, never mind. I've never done this bit of content before, so I don't know how to get in. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man. Um, remove the threat of the ride. Auto did a quest. Okay. Welcome to enter the village now. Yes, I'll go into the village. Okay, so you talk to him. He's the entrance. Thank you. Cool. Okay. We need... There's a bank here, so I'm gonna go bank. Um, bank box. Uh, thank you, Pickle Petal, for that resub. No Let's deposit all shrimps. All shrimps. He did just kind of chuck me in here. Yeah, it was awesome. Uh, fishing shop is right here. Awesome. It'll be cool to access this content the normal way someday and learn what the deal is here. Okay, so I want fishing rod. I'll buy a fly fishing rod as well. Uh, I can come back here for feathers. Let's see, let me buy and bait. And then however much more I can afford. Not much, but... Okay, so let's bait these fish. Oh, 25 fishing. Okay, well, I got the goods and I can just come back here. Is there just a normal ass man I can steal from here to get um, 
coins from. I should have done that back in Lumbridge. There was plenty of women to steal from there, and I just didn't. Bit of a fool's idea. Some nice mining rocks there for mining. Sand here. Large pile of sand. This looks like a large pile of sand. Great. This is also new and quaint to me. <laughs> so I'm just kind of poking and prodding instead of, you know, using my time wisely, but whatever. Uh, this guy's name is Caleb. I can't, I can't steal from you. Maybe someone up here. Uh, ticket to the dormitory from you. I, I can't afford that. I have two coins. No thanks. <laughs> Thought it was a big potato for a second? What, the sand? Awesome. Okay, I guess I'll just port back over to uh, Lum Lumbwidge. Use my, my home teleport, because that's a task, almost certainly. The wide-legged stance. Lighting the fire. Up we go. She's burning. Bye! There you go, that's a task. Let's find someone to rob. There we go. <laughs> Alright. Keep doing it. Steal from men. It's literally this easy. Water. Where, where, where are you going? Come back. We're not done. Ow! <laughs> Thank you, Sand, for the sand. Back to Steelers. Where the NPC is anymore. <laughs> this is awesome. <laughs> Gaming has literally never been this good. This like a horde of people following this one dude to just try and mug him. What do you think you're doing? <laughs> You can perhaps see now um, why some people have picked uh, Trickster and enjoyed picking Trickster. Hi, how's it going? Not too bad, <laughs> but I'm worried about the increase of pickpockets. <laughs> Thank you, level two man. For the money, I appreciate it. This is less pickpocketing and more like an organized crime, like, protection racket. Ow! Well, my ceiling level's already six, so let's see. Ten is for farmers. Um, but I can start doing, like, tea stall in, in Verrock. Gemstall is 75, so that's going to be a while. There's certainly some goofy stuff you can do with, like, uh, stealing from gem stalls and then trimming all the things and then... Where, where's the where's the man? There we go. And then, you know, selling all the trimmed things back. Trimmed you know, the fucking cut gems. Not trimming, cutting. Trimming and cutting are basically the same thing, except when they're not. Makes you think. I'm so glad that stealing from man uh, is a league task. You truly love to see it. This man can't do anything to get out of here, yeah. 
He's just like, oh fuck, everywhere I turn, someone else is putting their hands in my pockets. Taking my money, grabbing my dick and balls. Like, what do you do? The yellow birds are here. They're having fun. They're getting uh, a real workout. All right, pickpocket man. There we go. 28. Open them all at once. That's a task done. Now I've got 86. I need more money, so I'm going to have to keep doing this. <laughs> at 10, I can start getting from Farmer. And Farmer drops more money, if I remember right. Ow! Stealing from man without tricksters sucks on mobile? Yeah, I can imagine. Um, I don't play on mobile, so I simply don't have to worry about it. Smile. The explosions are going off. The fire is happening. Yeah! I should keep track of my health, perhaps. I should eat a chicken, perhaps. <laughs> oh, this dude's got baby mole! Let's go! Where did- where did man go? Where did man go? Where did man go? Where did man go? Oh, there. <laughs> Man, come back! I need your money! <laughs> Print me some more money! Ow! <sighs> really is that easy. He's too far. He's- he's moved away. Come back. My health is three. I can keep doing this. I can keep doing this. I still have three health. I can keep doing this. <laughs> some combat just for the sake of uh, having more health with which to steal. Let's see. Well, that's my agility. Never mind. Here's my feeding. My feeding is 12. I'm close to being able to rob ham followers. I can do Sorceress's Garden Winter when I go to um, the desert, which is good. You can just do that from the start. We're not far from spring. Um, we're not far from Pyramid Plunder Room 1. Huh. The gay pride scarf is best in slot for warm clothing protection? Let's go! The gays literally always win! It's so easy. It's so easy. Just, just be gay. Here's, here's the strat. Are you going to Corend and Kebos? Just be gay. What's not clicking? What's not clicking? Yeah, you can get the pride stuff in, in the league. You just have to go talk to, to Gilbert. Gilbert Grape, whatever his name is. I like him. I'm gonna take a chicken. I'm gonna eat a chicken. Alright, I have hit points. I'm gonna take a shrimp. I'm gonna eat a shrimp. I have hit points. <laughs> I'm gonna deposit the fly fishing rod. Uh, put my money away. I had more money in the bank. I fucking... 
I forgot I had money in the goddamn bag. I could have bought more bait. <laughs> League's off to a really good start. Never seen RuneScape at 60 FPS? It's just like this now, yeah. I mean, the animations are the same as they always were. Unless you've got, like, a... Like, an animation smoothing plug-in turned on, but those always make me want to throw up, so I don't. We're going fishing again. It's time for more of the fishing. It's time for Fleet Salad. Are League's members only? Yes, because 90% of the content is members only, and this entire thing is about only being able to go to certain regions to do content in certain regions that you pick. Oh no, I wanted to... Uh, bait fishing spot. There we go. Damn, someone's got a peaver. That's so cute. It is fun seeing all these people run around with pets. Your pets carry over between leagues. So if you got a pet in a previous one, you can just get it in this one. Can you sit down and fish in a little chair? I don't think you can. Alright, level 8 fishing. Let's go. It is funny seeing just the heaps of shrimp on the floor that people have cooked and chucked away. FF14 is the superior fishing game? Why do they have to fight? It's not a contest. Enjoy fishing. My fishing go up. fishing spot is gone. I have to go here. Ah. What game has the worst fishing minigame? That's a matter of opinion, I reckon. Only you can answer that one. Right. 39 tasks until the next area. That's not too bad. Let's see. There you go! Catch a herring! That's another task done! Let's go! We got that herring on lock! You know I got that herring on me! What's the matter? Yeah, Monster Hunter fishing is kind of boring. And there's not really anything to it. But it is fun when I get the huge fish. So... Uh, it's fine, I suppose. When you get that really big fish, it feels good good, so. Oh, I should do fucking Mistal and Mystery while I'm here and get that crafting XP. Oh, you know I got that motherfucking Gastro Tuna on me. All right, total level 100. Via fishing. It's that easy. It's literally that easy. At level 15, we can collect from barrels of fresh fish. Oh, Temporos is only 35, okay. Nice. I've never done Temporos before. Part of the fun thing about this league is that, like, no matter what areas I picked, it would be like, oh, okay, here's a new thing for me to try, because I haven't done, like, 99% of things in RuneScape. And so I get to hit my buttons in a fun and stylish way. Alright, we have one bait left. Is Temper also a thing you do with other players, or is that, like, a single-player instance thing? Alright. Now we just use our net, because it's what we got. 
But we can get anchovies here, so... Hey, we get an anchovies here, let's go! Big is basically the taster's platter, yeah. Um, I'm doing desert as my first area. Uh, and uh, because you get good ranged armor from uh, Tombs of a Masket. And I figured, well, TOA is already the easier raid of the three, but I figured trying to learn it, you know, with the goofy powers is a good way to learn it anyways. Um, and then I also want to do Chambers as Eric. Because if I get a Twisted Bow, it'll be cool, but if I don't, I mean, I've already got, you know, crossbows and stuff, so... And then, you know, if I do Desert, I also have Giant's Foundry, I also have uh, Temple of the Eye, I have, um, what is it, the fucking, the Squirks, I have Pyramid Plunder, I have the Agility Pyramid, there's a lot of good stuff <laughs> in the fucking Desert. So I'm going there first. We, we, we are going to fight so much cock, Simpleton. We gotta. We're going to have official RTVS, official Holotones, cockfight nights. Uh, no one's lit a fire here. No one's lit a fire here. That's too bad. I gotta run up and bank stuff anyways, so... Your brother-in-law is in the depths of agility training. Let's go. I gotta start doing that too soon. Um, I, I've, I've seen pictures from folks at like this literally the fucking start start of the league where people just kind of went like, okay, well, why bother like trying to like get, uh, you know, sheep sheared or kill the lesser demon in the tower when everyone else is going to try and do that? Let's just do agility, because everyone can do that at the same time, and then <laughs> just like three million people doing that. Wait, there's fires here. Let's just use those. There we go. I cook my damn herrings. I cook my damn sardines. I cook my damn shrimps. I cook my damn chovies. It's so funny! That the anchovies are literally just blue shrimp. Like, anchovies are famous for having their outer shells and their little legs. Everyone knows this about them. I still don't know what the exploding sound is, and it's so goddamn funny to me. Okay, I can just drop this on the damn floor. Sorry, it's garbage now. Let's see, let's see. Um... Let's withdraw all my fucking money. And let's go to Karamja. Again. Get me out of here. Do I want to know? I mean, I can just fucking look it up, I reckon. Or continue living in ignorance, that's also kind of funny in this case. RuneScape is the game where an explosion will happen sometimes. I've accepted it. Pineapple. Can I just pick pineapple plant? Can I just take that shit? Oh, that was a task. Okay. Let's go. <laughs> Let's just stock up on free pineapples. Oh, it's gold rocks here. Cool. Karamja is full of free gold. The infinite run energy is pretty goddamn nice. I gotta be real. Something attacking me. Oh, right, it's, it's the fucking spiders here. The level 44 spiders that could maybe realistically kill me dead dead. But, uh, we're out here. Oh, they got mahogany trees here. The pineapple was contested because it's a task? Awesome! Little 
mine here. Even the snakes want a piece of me. Dude, they want me. What? Rune crafting place is this? This is... Ooh, nature rune. Okay. Type. I've always wondered where that was. Now I know. Alright. Is there a bridge on this side? No. Okay. Well, I have to brave the spider world again. <laughs> You can't eat a pineapple. Ooh, ooh! <laughs> she says there's spiders in her in her realm, fighting her. Oh, and the snakes want a piece of me too, man. <laughs> hey, what's wrong? Hey, what's- Oh, there's more spiders here, huh? Alright. <laughs> well. No, 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 no. Scorpion. world's most dangerous fishing grind. Alright, fuck it, I'm gunning it. Let's go. Um, I wonder if there's more spiders around here, smile. We seem to be okay. We seem to be okay. <laughs> Hey man, can you let me in? Hey man, there's spiders here, can you let me in? Hey man, there's spiders here, can you let me in? <laughs> Alright, here we are. This is RK, by the way. Yo, howdy, cool new name. Alright, I gotta go buy <laughs> fucking bait. Oh! <laughs> hey man. If I had gotten slightly more gold, I could have just bought, like, a straight-up, uh, bait pack. Hadn't considered that. Oh, well. Let's buy 50. Let's buy 50. Alright, I've got 89. It's certainly a start. Uh, let's look at my damn menu. Let's see. Let's look at our tasks and see what's easy for, uh, Mistelin. Just do some of that, I suppose. You could certainly go and steal from the Varrock tea stall. That's an easy one. Actually, no, let's do agility. Let's do agility. Um, let's check tasks for. Let's see, all. All. Um. Let's see. Rooftop agility course. So it's the uh, Draenor agility. Uh, ten laps of the Draenor agility rooftop course. Let's do that. That's easy. That's easy and I won't get bit by spiders when I do it. So... <laughs> Let's join the Draenor conga line, yeah. Me and my one fucking gold. Let's bank this shit first. Oh man, what an exciting time in Shiloh Village. I'm scared now. There's a line of people waiting to kill the lesser demon in the wizard tower? Yeah! That always happens. I'm at level 43 Holly watching. Let's go! That's a good fucking level. Thank you for that resub burst, X. Much appreciated. Alright. 
I got nothing on me. We're out here. We're running. We're going to damn Draenor. Roofs weren't meant to handle this? Yeah, it's a good thing leagues canonically take place in, like, another universe. In, like, a, a, a funny pocket dimension. Uh, so they don't have to worry about people in the real world getting their houses damn destroyed. It's fine, smile. There is so much fire and burning everywhere here. That's awesome. That's so cool and good. What's that? Hang, hang on. What's this green and blue fucking thing? That's cute. Alright. My fucking lump on the floor. Guess it's someone's pet. Dogey? That didn't look like a damn dogey to me. Alright, alright. Join the conga line. One at a time, y'all. So how's everyone doing? We're gonna be here for a little while. We're gonna be here for a little while. Alright, that's one lap. Agility is now level 12. It's that easy. Let's go. More. Breakfast burrito? Fuck yeah. I gotta figure out what I'm doing for lunch. Um, I'm taking a break for dinner, and then I'll decide from there if I want to stream more or if I'm, or I'm just gonna play on my own the rest of the night. Um, but that's in, like, five or six hours. <laughs> that's gonna be in a while. Um, but I gotta, you know, sort lunch out. I think I'm gonna have a sausage. We got some sausage in the fridge. Leftovers. Might make a sausage sandwich. <sighs> Soup for the sickness. Oh no, I hope you can feel better soon. Maxing agility must be murder? Not in the league, it's not! Also, there's like other things you can do for agility that aren't just rooftop courses. 87 fire making? Let's go! Maybe, maybe pretty soon the cold won't be seeping into your bones or whatever. <laughs> yeah, fat chance. Yeah, uh cutting up a bun and putting a damn sausage in there sounds good to me. Uh, we got a bunch of, like, venison sausages because, uh, a family friend does, like, butcher stuff. Uh, and so we get a bunch of, like, you know, uh, locally sourced, uh, venison from, like, I don't remember the exact word or terminology for it, but, you know, like, responsible hunting to, like, help control population rather than make them go extinct type of thing. Which you love to see. Uh, and deer is pretty good, so... It's been good sausages. Sustainable, that's the fucking word, thank you. Uh, my brain is basically only thinking about RuneScape right now and not the English language. I like sustainable hunting and fishing, etc, etc, etc. Uh, and I, I had a sausage last night. I sliced it up and I put it in a in a pasta with uh, some broccoli, some tomato, a bit of tomato paste, some garlic, whatever herbs I had lying around. Little uh, what are they called? The funny like tube shape that describes a lot of <laughs> different <laughs> pasta. Have I ever had moose or elk? I think like once or twice. It's pretty good. <sighs> In the rune essence mines with endless harvest. Nice. 
Cutting down dead trees while working on your spouse's anniversary gift. Nice! Dude, happy anniversary to you and your spouse. My agility is now level 19. Oh yeah, moose are fucking terrifying. It's awesome. I know, and I know it's a little trite, and everyone always makes the comment of like, "Oh yeah, megafauna is still real," but like, it's true. <laughs> That's what they are. Get cool. Get cool. If you hit a moose with your car. The car is in more danger than the moose. <laughs> Thank you, Eves, for the resub. Much appreciated. The moose is nature's elephant. Think about it. Just think about it. Yeah, Moose are always going in the uh, Denzel Crocker uh, Uber Duck voice. That's specifically how all Moose talk. Jesus Christ, seeing one when you're like in a fucking outhouse in the dark is like nightmare mode. That's awesome. That's awesome and scary. Alright, we're agility level 20. That's cool. What do we need for, like, the Agility Pyramid? Uh... 30. Okay. That's, like, very doable with this and the Varrock one. What level is the Varrock one? 30 as well. Okay. Is it true that a Mountie gets a plus five bonus to their abilities when they're atop a moose? I don't give a shit what the cops do. They should get a plus 30 bonus to leaving me the fuck alone. <laughs> Damn. I wonder if that's the real I ate your pie in chat, or if that's just someone who snagged the username. That's a streamer. I know them, I watch them sometimes. By sometimes I mean like once in a blue moon. I don't really have a lot of time to watch streams these days. Ooh, there's a Mark of Grace here. Let's go. Give me that shit. Someone with the username Rune Light. Awesome. That's that's the official plugin. That's them. We found them. They're grinding. All right, obtain a mark of grace. It's that easy. It's literally that easy. Just just get it. Just do it. Is this a Roblox obby? I've never played Roblox, so no. This is RuneScape, bitch. <laughs> we form an or we form an orderly line in this bitch, and we get across the rooftop. We clown in this motherfucker. You get your sensitive ass back to survive a roller coaster with Family Guy. All right, and this will be our tenth run, so then we'll get that achievement diary bit done. We got good game! <laughs> yeah, there, we have infinite runs, so you don't gotta worry about Graceful. <laughs> we can just run forever. Oh, oh, this person's got a Chinchampa pet! Fuck, it's needed badly! Chinchampa is so cute. It's my friend Chinchampa. <laughs> I 
I've never engaged very much with Hunter because I've never really understood why you would want to or need to. Um, but I want I want Chinchampa pet, <laughs> so uh, I'm gonna have to at some point on the uh, on the main account. I know they're doing more hunting stuff with uh, Varlamore, which is coming next year. That'll be interesting, I suppose. Catching chins is relaxing? I feel like you could say that about just about any menial labor in this video game. This is relaxing to me. I don't know if any of the areas I'm picking really have access to chins. But, uh... Oh, no, I didn't want to talk to you, uh, Fuppo, or whatever your name is. Goodbye. And I don't know if I'm gonna have much in the way of, like, multi-target for range, aside from, like... I mean, I don't know, switching to fucking magic if I need to, and, like... I was gonna say getting a cannon, but I don't think I can get a cannon. I don't think I have... Because you need, like, two areas for that. What's that one, like, multi-target bow? I don't remember what it's from, though. Isn't it from Fremenic? I'm not- I don't think I'm picking Fremenic. Maybe it's not that big of a deal. Maybe it's not that important. Maybe it's fine that I'll just, like, machine gun down one guy at a time. <laughs> Maybe that's okay. Smile. talking about this with some friends uh, recently. One of the exciting things about this league is, like, someone that hasn't done a lot of RuneScape stuff. I mean, one of the exciting things is that it's like, oh, this is a, a very, like, low-pressure way to get into a lot of the harder content, because you just get a bunch of ridiculous buffs. But also, one of the exciting things about this is realizing, oh, I have to make all these interesting decisions, which means I am inherently limiting myself in terms of, like, what I can do and access. Which just has me more excited to do and access them on my main account eventually. Like, damn. There's a ton of cool shit in Fremenic. Fremenic is where, like, the dwarf area is. That's where Blast Mine is. I can't do that in the, in the league because I'm not picking it. Why are the shapes red sometimes? It's to indicate to you that there's an item you can pick up on the agility course. It's a it's a runelite plugin. If, if, if you've noticed, every single time... Sorry, not Blast Mine, Blast Furnace, fucking whatever. Don't well actually me, I'll fucking kill you. But yeah, it, it's it's a plugin. Uh, that, if, if you've noticed, we've been finding these little things on the rooftops. And they only spawn sometimes. And so it makes your screen turn red to tell you, hey, there's a fucking thing you should pick up. Why are there a ton of campfires? Because it's RuneScape. People are leveling fire making. <laughs> That's what you do in this video game, is you make fire everywhere so that you can make your fire skill better. <laughs> and then you go to Korend, and then you open a really big door, and you go speak to Todd. And you set Todd on fire until you reach 99. Yeah, like, this is normal for the normal game. You're just seeing so many of them because there's so many people in this one area right now. We've just started, so everyone's at it. Everyone's up and at them. Your unbridled enthusiasm for this game is absolutely infectious. Awesome. It's it's a cute little game. I like it. <laughs> It's fun to hit my buttons and see cool things happen on my screen. It's a fun little point-and-click adventure game. Where also I get to look at other goons and stoners doing this type of stuff. Fire-making being a skill is very funny and very, like... Uh, 
I think, very in indicative of the fact that this is an old-ass fucking browser game from, like... Was it late 1990s or early 2000s that RuneScape Classic first came out? I don't remember. But, like... It's, it's so extremely old video game made by people from the UK. And, like, ever since then, they've had to, like... Come up with reasons to retroactively justify fire making being a skill. <laughs> also, yeah, they did recently add um, with like the forestry update. You can do like campfires that you can keep refueling instead of just lighting little ones over and over again. It was intended to be like a survival skill. Yeah, and they kind of took out, like, all the survival elements of the game. Like, you don't need to sleep anymore. There used to be inns you had to sleep at. That's not a thing no more. Wanted them to add some kind of survival elements to fire making? I'd fucking like that. I'm, I'm the fucking doing survivalism shit in my video game pervert. It's why I play New Vegas on hardcore mode, because it makes me have to go to bed and drink water. <laughs> that stuff's fun to me. Every time I try to play Skyrim, I have to look at whatever mod repositories there are and see if there's like... Any of the ones that make you have to worry about the cold have been updated for, like, whatever recent version it is. It's needed badly. I can't just play without that. Another Mark of Grace, let's go. Pick that shit up, it's mine now. Let's go. This should take me to 30, I think, which will be a, a good stopping point for this specific agility course. Strange that the base game didn't consider that? Not especially. Bethesda games aren't generally concerned with being a survival experience, they're concerned with making you get 10 bear asses or whatever, you know? <laughs> That's not really the type of video game they make. Uh, except for when they do. Dirty lets you do Varrock rooftop course? I know! I, I literally looked it up earlier on, on screen. And then said, oh, that's the level you need for it, which is why I'm stopping at 30. Fallout 4 and 76 have good survival mechanics? Yeah, but... Then I have to play Fallout 4. <laughs> you know? There we go, level 30. Let's go. Let's all go on a field trip to the Draymer Village Agility Course. Well, unfortunately, the field trip is now over, but... <laughs> thank you for that resub, much appreciated. Alright, we've unlocked... A bunch of things! Let's go! Uh, what else can we do around Draenor? Let's see... Uh, 30 tasks until the next area. <laughs> we did this, we did this. we love to see it. Alright. I just type in Draenor, what does it show for me? Enter Draenor Manor, get a Slayer task. Insult Aggie the Witch. Feed a Draenor guard some stew. What do you need to cook stew? Uh, let's see. I can totally cook this. Bowl with water, potato in the bowl, meat in the bowl, and then over a fire. Okay. Damn. Where the hell I got a damn bowl? I guess I can just take one from, um, from the kitchen over in Lumbridge. Gotta run past these fucking guards that want to club me so bad it makes them look stupid. They don't want to club me today, okay. Usually they do. Usually they're addicted to that shit. Yeah, I don't want to 
to insult Aggie. She's a nice lady. Abe wants me to, though, so I guess... Who am I to say no? All the media does is tell me to go out there and attack people with hammers. It's not my nature, but who am I to deny it? <laughs> <laughs> Alright. The kitchen is full of free bowl. My. I'm gonna have to kill like a cow or a rat or something. I suppose I can always get a cow. I should get food before I try and take on a cow, which could trample me fucking dead. I got, like, no armor, so, like... I still have to find a goddamn graveyard to dance in. I don't know where those are! Okay, so let's get, uh, ten scrimps. Let's get... You know what, let's get all my chovies out. Machovies. Oh! Literally the Lumbridge one! You're right! <laughs> I almost forget that's a graveyard! Hang on. Hang on, we're cooking. We're off to the damn races now. Let's go. I literally never remember that that's a fucking graveyard. Okay, we're here. We're out here. Um, it's... Dance? It's that easy. It's literally that easy. What's wrong? It's that easy. Uh, I guess we should start Restless Ghost as well. I don't remember what that gives, but we can do it. Uh, where is... you? Hello, Eric. Give me your shit. Uh, oh, it's art automatically done. Okay, never mind. Cool, cool, cool. Don't have to worry about it. What are they doing here? You know what? Let's kill a fucking rat. Why not? I'm feeling bold today. Hey, you damn rat. to it. Shooting you. Take these arrows. Take these arrows. My raw rat meat. Nice. Okay. Uh, eat a shrimp about it. Alright. Cook that shit. I still need a damn potato. Is this dude just idling here? Are they gonna get bit to death? Uh-oh! Uh-oh! Hey, what's going on, bud? <laughs> Are we gonna witness a live murder? Should I, like, should I help this guy? <laughs> I don't know if they're trying to die on purpose or not. <laughs> They're just gonna get bit to death. Oh my god! Life murder! Life murder! Life murder! <laughs> Can I take those bones? that. Let's check the cooking guide again for stews. Um, okay, so you do have to cook the meat first. Okay, cool, cool, cool. 
let's cook our meat. Someone gets murdered by a rat and you just laugh? You fucking bet I do. You bet your sweet bippy I'm laughing about it. It's awesome. <laughs> We've got a bowl full of delicious fountain water. Let's find a single potato. They got potatoes in Draenor? They got bitches in Draenor? Alive bitches? Where are potatoes again? Um, we can't go to South Falador Farm because that requires Asgarnia. So that's, uh... <laughs> it's time to go in the wiki and look for potato. <laughs> All right. Um, it's the Port Serum food store, but I haven't taken Asgarnia yet. Uh, east of Draenor Village, it says. All right. East of Draenor Village could be a lot of places, though. Is it that big one up there? Is that potatoes? <laughs> That's potatoes, let's go! Alright! Potatoes time! Let's get that potato. Oh man, the fucking tree here is gonna be hotly contested too. Yo, how you doing this morning, Devon? Hope you're doing good. It's League's time! We're out here, we're getting potato! I didn't mean to eat it. <laughs> but... <laughs> wait! Wait! What do you mean? After all that fucking nightmare trying to get potato seeds on the main account, the second potato I pick, like it's nothing. That's awesome. I love I love statistics. <laughs> all right, let's go cook this damn stew. Uh, I actually I've got to take a break. It's break time. If I'm gonna be playing this for hours and hours, I gotta take my fucking breaks. So I'm gonna get up, I'm gonna have my stretch. Uh, do the same for yourself. Get a drink or a snack. Remember, don't <laughs> stop picking those potatoes. You are about to win it big in the seed lottery. We'll be right back.
You know that bit in um, Star Fox, famous game I never played ever, Star Fox 64, where um, Falco is like, something's wrong with the G-Diffuser. Um, I was imagining a guy who's having a really troubled day in the bathroom, and then Falco calls him on the radio and says, something's wrong with the P-Diffuser. Um, and then I said that out loud to myself when I was on my break, and I realized that's not very funny. Uh, and I think that ended up making it, like, uproariously funny to me, because it made me... <laughs> it made me a little dizzy laughing about it after that. Hi, everyone. <laughs> um, we made stew. <laughs> hey, we made an extra stew, too! What? Nice! Let's go! Let's go to the damn bank and put my Marks of Grace away. 2008 Newgrounds cartoon ass bit? That's the meanest thing you've ever said to me. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> What was I doing? I was going over here. I've got my stew. Actually, while I'm here, I suppose I don't need three million shrimps no more. I'm gonna put all these away. Put all these away. Get my fucking axe out. Yeah, Mario smoke the drug, he make a real weed, uh, is a little funny nowadays. <laughs> not, not, may maybe not for the reason intended, but... I cut my damn logs. I got my damn wood. What, what if Pikachu ate a, ate a pill? And, and they named him Bill Papachu? Are we gonna witness another live death? <laughs> no, he's moving. Never mind. Fuck. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's too bad. This is the hardest tree I've ever tried to cut down. There we go. Level two. 
We chop us some luck? Today we will witness RuneScape's greatest killers? We sure will. That's, that's how the league goes. History's greatest killers. Ram in the sheep pen you clicked by accident. A uh, rat <laughs> in the swamp. Oh, for, see, I got mixed up because this dude's wearing the outfit from that one league that everyone's just wearing. But I thought for a really funny second that this dude getting his ass bitten to death by rats was the dude that we watched die in the swamp. Well, we get to watch another man die! <laughs> my bones, my bones, my bones, my bones, my bones, my bones. <laughs> That's efficiency, baby! That's prayer XP! <laughs> oh man, oh man! Hang on, hang on. This person getting their ass slapped by the mugger is named 100 meter feet picks. Damn, that's a funny ass username. <laughs> you can fill a whole football field with that many. They're also gonna die! They're just getting mugged! What the fuck is going- Why is this happening to so many people? I'm taking your bones, I'm taking your bones, I'm taking your bones, I'm taking your bones! <laughs> Life murder! Life murder! Life murder! Life murder! Dude, leagues are fucking awesome! I'm so sad that I haven't played any of them until now, but I'm so glad that this gets to be my first experience! <laughs> Block spiders, I basically have become a psycho pump here, haven't I? <laughs> Your ass is going to whatever comes next. Let's go. Are these dying people AFK? Not all of them, although some of them might might as well be, given that they're just letting themselves get slapped to death. I don't think there's any sort of strat here, I think it's just happening to them because they're <laughs> doing something else, they're not looking. That, that one dude was just trying to fight the rat and just died, but... Wait, wait, wait. This guy's name is Crab One. Let's go. That's a great name. They're out here catching imps. I have to do Imp Catcher again. I have to do Imp Catcher again. I know nothing about runes, though this is fun to watch. Oh, yeah. oh, this dude's out here with like really, really good wood cutting. Okay. By really good, I mean like a steel axe instead of my bronze axe. Thank you, Roxas, for that 40 month reset. Much appreciated. Uh, it is the start of a brand new league, which means everyone's starting from the start and everyone has like ridiculous power-ups and boosted experience rates and stuff. It's it's funny that they added the whole like multiple people can chop from the same tree, but that doesn't apply to like the standard ass tree. Trees only like oaks and above. Can I take this bones? Can I take this bones? Did someone else drop dead? Someone else dropped dead. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> Someone got killed earlier. It's concerning. My head has been spinning and swimming since last night with thoughts of my fletching. I can fell the mighty oak, it's all over for you. I can fell the mighty oak, it's all over for you. What 
time to League's launch? Uh... Ooh, okay. Clue Nest. Sure, don't mind if I do. I'm pretty sure it launched at like 7 Eastern this morning. What is my favorite type of bone? Um... I haven't thought about it that way, ever, I think. When I went to, um, La Habrea Tar Pits last month, not last month, September, it's November already, Jesus, um, there was like a wall just full of like dire wolf skulls, and I thought having a wall of skulls at a museum was pretty fucking cool. So I guess it'd be that. Alright, I'm full. Ah, oh, I'm stuffed. I couldn't have another. Ah. I guess I'll have one more and then that'll be it. Alright, so clue scrolls all stack in this league. So I'm just going to bank this for now. Yeah, I got to go to the tar pits. It was awesome. Okay, let's get our tinderbox out. Light some freaking fires. Not any fun making? Let's go! <laughs> Yo, fucking shoutouts to Simple Tan. I am like 90% sure that they're like a real one grinding this out while at work. <laughs> respect, respect. If they didn't want us playing RuneScape on company time, they would simply pay us thousands of dollars more. It's that easy. It's that easy. Alright. Start burning. Begin burning. It's totally that pet that's making the stomping sound, isn't it? That huge motherfucker is just walking through here like, Make way! Big boy out here! That's great! Oh no, a ton of people absolutely did take time off from work to do this. And then also a ton of people probably went, oh, I could do some of this shit in my browser while I'm working. Some of these people are probably on that working from home lifestyle, which, hey, respect. Me too, <laughs> technically. <laughs> Alright, here they come, here they come, the line, the line, the conga line. What is a RuneScape League? Uh, limited time event, everyone starts from level 1, uh, you have boosted experience and drop rates, and then there's a bunch of gimmicks that you have to like, you know contend with in some way or another. For this one, uh, the entire world map is locked into like 10 different regions. You can only pick five of them. And then also as you like level up and do tasks and quests and jobs and stuff, you uh, get a bunch of ridiculous power-ups. It's fun. All right, level 15, which I think means we can fire make oak logs. Yes, okay. Let's burn these oaks. What starting relic did I take? The crafting one. I'm on that crafting lifestyle. I'm doing ranged, so I want to have, you know, as many... I'm also not taking a route that gives me uh, one of Ava's backpacks. So I want to be able to craft as much shit as I can for shooting. There was a line for killing a demon in a cell. Yeah, that happens every time there's a league where that's an objective. Is people just queue up to kill it because it's like, well, there's only one. We can't have multiple people killing at the same time. That's not how it works. So people wait their turn. And anyone who, like, breaks the queue, everyone immediately fucking cusses them out for being a dickhead. And usually they run away. <laughs> Some people don't give a shit and they still just do it. It's very funny. I'm going to... Wait. Uh, probably a while. Until it's less crowded there. I need a knife is what I need. Um, I'm gonna steal these logs, actually, real quick. My logs now. If you don't mind, thank you. Um, 
It's exactly like queuing at Greg's. <laughs> awesome. All right, put the tinderbox away. I have one single coin to my name. I need to go rob people again. I need to steal some more. I need to afford a fucking knife to Fletch. Often don't start League till the second day. That's fair. Uh, I can't blame you. Part of me at first... Wait, is that a free knife? Free knife? Free knife? Can I just take that? There's the... Free knife. Okay. Part of me was thinking, like, oh man, I could, like, plan to wake up really, really, really fucking early to, uh, you know, participate in the League. Uh, and then I just kind of decided, nah. Nah. So I, I, you know, got up at 8 o'clock and had a nice breakfast, went for a walk, had a nice morning, and then when the video game finally let me log in... <laughs> Alright, more. Uh, fletching, let's see, let's see Fletching. Right on. Here's Fletching. Here it is. Uh, we can make arrow shafts from oak logs at 15. Uh, short bows and long bows. We gotta string those for more XP as well. Yeah, the fairy one looks like a really, really good pick. It's the one I'm gonna go for as well. Yeah, the Jagex launcher is getting fucking slammed with people trying to log in, which is really funny considering how they keep pushing that as like, yeah, this is the secure option, so please set your account up on this. And then all the people that did, like me, were just like, all right, well, we can't get in now because the launcher is not responsive because the servers are getting slammed. <laughs> She's having so much fun in the woods. She's honestly having so much fun in the woods. It's fucked. It's fucked. That dude's taking my tree. It's fucked. I'll chop down this tree. Alright, this mugger's almost dead. Let's go. Mugger down. That rat almost bit someone else to death. Accidentally split your characters between two Jagex accounts by accident? Oh no! <laughs> That's no good. I'm gonna go over here where there's slightly less people chopping down normal ass trees. Yeah, the, the, the rats are like RuneScape's famous killers today. It's great! We've watched so many live rat murders. What's the deal? <laughs> FF14 leagues would be hilarious. I don't think 14 is really structured in the type of way that would facilitate something like a league. RuneScape works, because RuneScape is a game where you can just decide, okay, I'm here at the start of the game, now I'm just gonna go to this place instead. 14 is very, very linear. 14 is very linear because it's a Final Fantasy game. Oh, this little spider is so cute, look at it. A little guy? I've never noticed how cute you are before. You're my friend. You're my friend. I should try and get an axe upgrade at some point. You'd at least have the sense of community from leveling up alongside everyone else. That's called doing the fishing boat minigame. <laughs> Just doing that. And also, I guess, you know, running roulettes and stuff with people. But the fishing boat more so. <laughs> Already level 90 and everything? Time to roll a new character! Smile! The plowing grind for host cities is still slow? Let's go. I... I <laughs> I was literally talking about this 
with Simpleton the other day, where, like, we were just talking about RuneScape and, uh, you know, the, the topic of, like, the, the changes coming to Karend came up. And I was like, oh yeah, you know, they're, like, changing, um... Damn, there's a bunch of extra arrow shafts, let's go. They're, they're, they're like, changing, um... Karend specifically to get rid of, like, reputation. Favor is just gonna be gone next year. Maybe before next year, actually, but, like, somewhere around then. They're just gonna get rid of it entirely. Um, and so everyone universally is like, yeah, this is a pretty great change. It's good that they're getting rid of that. It's kind of a slog and it's kind of miserable to get to. Um, and I'm sitting here thinking, uh-oh, I need to fucking grind my reputation right now just to say that I did. I need to experience the toil because that's going away soon. They're getting rid of the misery soon. I need to experience that. <laughs> if you're wondering how normal I was feeling about that. Okay, I can't take those bones. That was an NPC, not a human. Uh, so I am picking Karend as one of my regions this this league. So I will get to experience that to some degree. <laughs> your little beepo and you need your misery increased? Maybe a little. <laughs> Maybe a little. <laughs> sure, let's go with that. <laughs> Alright, more trees. A RuneScape Cenobite? Listen. I have such sights to show you. What's wrong? <laughs> Thank you, Honest Tom's Discount Beef for the 32-month resub. Much appreciated. Yeah, that's that's also my plan, Osk. Um, I'm going desert first because there's a lot of good skilling stuff in desert. And eventually I can go for the Tombs of a Masked Armor. And then I'm going for wherever God Wars is so that I can get um, the armor upgrade. And then between those two, there's a lot of, like, good bow and crossbow stuff that I can get. And, like, good, interesting skilling stuff. And then I'm going Karend, uh, and my big final task is let's see if I can get a T-bow. And if I don't, well, I've got a fucking machine gun crossbow, so that's okay. <laughs> I think learning Tombs of a Masket... Um, with all of the relic powers is going to be a fun time. I'm looking forward to that. And then I get to do Cox. I'm going to have so much fun doing Cox with my friends. Is the new Necromancer stuff fun? That's RuneScape 3, not old school. Um, the, the proposed new skill is still in development. It's sailing. It's not in uh, the game yet. Okay. I respect this one dude who has been out here just ganking every tree he sees, seeing me actively chopping that one and not immediately running towards it. I appreciate it, dude. <laughs> I see you. I see you. Necromancy is fun? Hell yeah. I haven't tried RS3- wait, wait, wait! Let's go. Let's go. Let's fucking go. It's free sandwiches for you. What's wrong? What was I fucking talking about? I literally don't remember. C train of thought completely derailed. What was I saying? Does anyone remember? <laughs> Help! Alright, let's make uh, longbows. That's more XP. Alright, we're level 14. You'll love to see it. Wait, I was talking about RuneScape 3, wasn't I? I've never played RS3. Um, I'm kind of curious to check it out someday. Um, but, I don't know. I really like playing old school. And even if RS3 is really good, the idea of playing two RuneScapes at once is like... That's a little much. <laughs> nah, the beekeeper wasn't for me, it was for another guy. 
I want to deposit all. Deposit all. There we go. Deposit my coin. Put my sandwich away. Alright, I got plenty to start fletching arrows with once I, you know, start doing smithing. RS3 is fun for the quest, but you think it's best as iron? Well, good news is I'm a fucking pervert when it comes to playing solo self-found in video games, so... <laughs> playing as an Iron Man is like a default for me. <laughs> Alright, um... I wanted to feed the stew to a guy. Right, 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 right. Let's do that. See what else I can do in Aggie's world. Off we go! Damn, it's almost one o'clock. I should have lunch soon. Should make my dang sausage. I, I am interested to see, like, how different things are between, uh, old school and RS3, but at the moment I don't really have the time or the interest in playing both at once myself, so... Alright, let's go talk to the fucky forester. Where is he? Where is he? There he is. The handsome rube. Hey, bro. I've come to talk forestry. Uh, the forests have woken up. Give me that shit. Tending to the woodlands with your fellow foresters. Drinking plenty of tea to fuel yourself. Feature was not added to the game. How can I get started? Uh, give me the forestry kit. Chop some trees while you have the kit and the woodland will do the rest. Okay! Okay, thank you! Uh, shop. Give me that kit. Uh, thank you kindly. Uh, all this other shit we gotta pay for. The cost of. Um... Now this does cost arctic pine logs. Which I think you can only get. Oh, but you can still just get like lumberjack outfit, okay. You, magic, and redwood, that's fine. Uh, maple and you. You and magic. You and magic. You, magic, redwood. And this is just like a reskin, I think. I don't think it does more. I think it's just a funny new outfit. So I don't have to worry about not having access to arctic pine logs. Unless there's like other things that need that? I don't know. I have to imagine there probably aren't. Don't know anything about forestry? They added it recently-ish. Uh, it's a uh, it's, uh, update to... to woodcutting that adds like some little mini games you can participate in. There's little dudes you gotta help give haircuts to. Uh, let's see. Hey man, do you want your shit breezy at the back? Back. All right, and also levels up fletching a little bit and stuff. All right, prune back. Nice. A leafy mullet. Would that be sides? That's perfect. All right. Hey man, what do you want? Short on top. Prune top. Something happened. Yay! <laughs> uh, did it just end? I think it just ended. Alright. I got 28 bark. You get 12 piles of leaves. Let's go. You love to see it. Is there a guy I can rob here? Is there just a normal ass farmer I can steal from here? Um. Let's see. With all those fucking seeds on the floor, it's a little hard to see other stuff. Uh, examine market guard. So, what? Do, who do I need to give... What guard do I have to give this, this dude to? Let's see... A Draenor guard. Now, does the market guard count for that? Does anyone know? Or is it a different type of guard? If anyone knows in chat, you can just tell me. I have a second stew in case I fuck it up, but... I guess I can just try. 
Oh, it's the one in the tree? Okay. Here's some stew! That's very kind of you. A few coins for your trouble. Let's go. It's snack time. It was so nice of that tree to be hungry. For me. Uh, 23 tasks till next area, but we're close to the next relic. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, insult Aggie the Witch. Where the fuck is Aggie again? In here. Let's talk to Aggie. Sorry, girl, I gotta be mean to you. They're, they're paying me to be mean to you. Uh, let's see. You mad old witch, you can't help me. She took my coins! <laughs> That's awesome! She would do that. That's great. <laughs> you turn people into frogs? Uh, not for years. <laughs> There's a damn bad machine over there. What else do you do? It's like dies, right? Uh, yeah, dies. All right. Okay. Thank you. What else do we have for tasks in here? Let's see, let's see, let's see. Insulted Aggie the Witch. We can get rope from Ned. What does Ned need for rope again? Let's see. We do a wise old man task. Those are relatively easy. But why am I running over here? Did I click something by accident? I want to talk to Ned. Hey, bro. Uh, uh hello. How much for rope? 15 coins or 4 balls of wool. It's good, it's, it's good wool. That tells ya. Do you want my rope or not? <laughs> I'll go get some wool. Okay. Thank. I think I need some ropes for a quest anyways. Go for Prince Ali rescue when I go to there. Oh right, I only have two. Right, because you gave him the balls of wool for the quest. Fuck! Well, we can come back and do that. Alright. Uh, wise old man task. Let's go talk to Mr. Oldman. I almost forget it's a thing you can do. Hello! You're a wise old man, huh? Uh, Alright, what's a sage doing here? All kinds of stuff. I've been places. I've seen stuff. I read books. Uh, the vampires are here. All right. Uh, how can you help me? You can give me jobs to do. Let's see. You can also clear out my bank. Can I have some free stuff, please? <laughs> I'd just like to ask you something. Uh, your hat. I'd rather like it myself. I gotta get a hat like that. Buy one. And I buy your hat. Oh no. Uh, where'd you get it? You didn't steal it, did you? <laughs> Yes, please. Never mind. Let's talk to you again. Uh... Hey, man. Uh, is there anything I can do for you? Yeah, give me a, give me, give me, give me one small favor. Molten glass. Where do I get that? Seaweed in a bucket of sand. Where the hell do I get that? Alright, let's see. Uh... Let's check the damn wiki. Uh... Seaweed. We can get that. Um... Karamja. All around the east and west coast. Okay, we go there. 
bye bye Oh, our party hat's really cheap now? <laughs> I hadn't realized they're, like, cheap nowadays. In my head, they're always the expensive thing. Okay, let's go this a ways. Let's not get bit by spiders, etc. Let's see if there's any damn seaweed around here. Scorpions! Oh, poison scorpions. Oh! Moss giant's over there. A slice of cake is over there. Someone's fucking them up. Let's go. Do I brave the scorpions and hope there's seaweed here? I brave the scorpions and hope there's seaweed here. There... isn't. Alright, let's look at the wiki some more. Alright. There's a map link to it. Oh, I see what they mean by the east and west coast. It's the, the slightly southern bit. Or, like, right near the volcano. It's time to brave the scorpions again. Actually, why don't I just... Teleport to the Waystone so I don't have to run through the poison scorpions and get poisoned. Smile. And they're calling that using your thinker, using your brain meats. Everyone's always calling it that. Everyone's talking about it. Now I look for my damn seaweed. Damn seaweed. I see a red dot. I see a red dot on my screen. Seaweed. All right, let's go. Uh, then what else did I need for molten glass? Let's see. Ah, uh, molten glass. Bucket of sand. Using an empty bucket with a sand pit. Where are... sand pits? Where do they got those? There's... in Dorgish Khan and Zanaris. Is there a crackly sound in the stream? I mean, there's like rain happening. I got a rain plug in. It might be that. There's like rain and thunder sounds happening. If there's something else, I don't know. I'm gonna wait for more seaweed in case I need more seaweed. Slightly damp seaweed. Buy sand from the charter ship shop? I have no money. I have 25 money. <laughs> It's really all I've got. Can I afford it? How much does Bucket of Sand cost? Let's see. Um, Trader Stands Trading Post in Port Sarim. Or in Brimhaven. Um, five coins. Yeah, I can spare five coins. Where the hell is Trader Stump? Let's see. Uh... Um, quick range. Where's that bitch? Where is that dickhead? Uh, Trader Stands Trading Post is over by the docks to the east. What relic did I pick? The crafting one. I can get my damn sand. There's dogs here. No, I've never walked around this volcano. I've never been to this area. 
Yo, they got imps here. Let's go. That imp exploded in my face. That's awesome. We got scorpions here. <laughs> I'm gonna mind the scorpions, actually. I'm gonna be careful of the scorpions, actually. I'm gonna do everything in my power to avoid the scorpions, generally. I think I'd have to kill a snake to get snake skin or something at some point. I don't got no food. We don't need to fight. <laughs> we don't need to fight. Wait, are there... There are men to pickpocket here. Right? There are... There's men somewhere here. Also, let me check if doing... Uh, let's see. Tasks. Uh, porch. Sarim. Well, I'm here. No, not Port Sarim. Uh, fucking Karamja. I guess I can just filter by... Karamja. Let's see. We picked a pineapple. Agility Arena ticket. Uh, Karambwanji. Defeated Tsar. Slayer Task, Greater Demon. Let's sort by, uh, easy. Let's see, all right. Into the Brimhaven Dungeon. Is there anything about bananas? Doing the fucking banana thing. Fill a crate with bananas. 40 fucking points?! You're- you're- you're fucking with me! You're fucking with me! What?! What?! <laughs> Why is that a 40 pointer?! That's awesome! That's so goddamn funny! That's 40 goddamn points! <laughs> hey man, can I do bananas with you? Can I, can I, can I work here? Alright. Uh, 30 gold? Don't mind if I do! Fill that shit up! Oh, wrong crate. It's this one. Don't mind if I do! Feel great. There we go. 40 fucking points! What do you mean? 20 points until next relic! <laughs> Oh my god! It's that easy! Catch a salmon, catch 50 karambwan, craft nature runes, steel dragon. I can't do like basically any of those yet. Taibuawane hardwood grove, do Taibuawane stuff, gem rocks, and then like much harder stuff. Okay, so. That's so goddamn funny. That's so goddamn funny. Alright, man. Uh, your crate's full. Can I have my money, please? Money, please! Alright. Uh, will you pay me for another crate full? Okay! Let's go find Trader Slump. Where's Trader? Trader Spam. Trader Slap. Can I just trade with you? Do you just have the goods? Yes, you do. Alright. Bucket of Sam. Buy one. Buy something from trader crew members. All right, that, there's another one down. <laughs> We're about to get our next relic. Nice. All right, let me get more bananas and get more money because I I got like five in my pants right now. Might as well. Okay, now how do I turn this into soda ash? Let's see, let's see. Soda ash. Uh, seaweed. 
on a range or fire. Okay, is there a damn range around here? There's one over there. So let's put these bananas in and they get more money. Yeah, I know about the banana thing, Tim Tam. I know his banana facts. My money. Thank you, please. Bye bye. I, for, I, I was trying to search in the search bar, and I guess I typed banana in my <laughs> my chat box. Yeah, bananas are uh, an interesting case of uh, mono cropping happening. Can't seem to log in? Yeah, that's because thousands upon thousands of people are all trying to play right now. <laughs> That'll happen. Let's attack this imp. Oh, someone else was attacking this one. Alright, well, I don't get the draw. Whatever. This motherfucker's got imps camped out here. Here's one. Can I get your, your drops? Yes, I can. How many arrows do I have? Not many! Here's hoping I can take this guy out. No, wait, no, take my fucking arrows. Oh, no, there's just over here, okay. Come on, come on, come on! Come on! You dickhead! My fucking arrows! It's needed badly! That's a different one. Oh man. <laughs> It's nice that the arrows aren't deleted if you miss. Uh, they are sometimes. I think. I'm pretty sure it's a random chance. Alright. Only ashes. You're a different one. Okay, well, give me the goods. Give me the goods. Give me the goods. Give me the goods. Give me the goods, please! Hey, that's a bead! It's needed badly, let's go! They're calling her the best there ever was at Imp Catcher. Basically, no one's ever done it like her when it comes to imp catchering. Look at this dude, he's fucked. No, no, no. Let me get these arrows first before I forget. you, right? No, you're a different one. Okay, well. Oh well, so it goes. <laughs> Why did you stop? <laughs> you dickhead! Stop! You're the one I want. I am so fucking mad. <laughs> I need to make some fucking arrows soon. I got- I've been juggling nine of them. 
Oh man, this is funny though, so. I got to range level 10! There we go, that's some damage. Oh! <laughs> My arrows! This is way more fraught than it needs to be, but it's really fucking funny if I keep doing it like this, so I'm gonna keep doing it like this. you're going to die now and give me a B, yes? So basically, you are dropping dead now, right? Yes! Also, I guess I need a chef's hat for a clue scroll at some point. That's fine. Whatever, man. I'll take it. This is going to be huge for the account. <laughs> Right, I was going for a fucking range. To cook my damn seaweed. Cook my seaweed. Alright, we got our soda ash. Um. Then what do we do? Let's see. Molten glass. Uh, in a furnace. Okay. I need to find a furnace. You still don't know what they do? What, the beads? It's for a quest. It's it's the quest where everyone not playing an Iron Man just goes to the Grand Exchange and buys them and the quest is done. Then everyone playing an Iron Man has to wait like 30 hours for the RNG to give them the drops they want. Where... There's a furnace. I can go to Shiloh, but that's a bit of a walk. I could also just teleport back to fucking... Lumbridge, and there's one right there. So we're gonna do that. I gotta go back there anyways to give the old man my fucking glass. Wee! Alright. Off we go. Damn, I'm already learning new shit about this video game. It's awesome. Blast. Yo, I hear that huge motherfucker. Let's go. He's stomping on through. Wait, no, why am I going this way? The furnace is over here! I got so addicted to the idea of running back to the old man that I forgot to get him the thing he wants! I'm a fool. Oh, yeah, Hannah. Uh, Eternal Harvest is really good if you want to just play AFK. Alright, furnace. Blast. Trickster seems very good depending on what areas you're choosing. Um, but I'm doing, like, Desert and Karend, so, like, I have Fire Making and Thieving and Agility all... all good. <laughs> no, no Prabalo here, so it's not quite as tempting to me. Yeah, if, if you're going Elves, or if you're going, um, Mauritania and you want to get the blood whatever, like, Trickster is fucking huge for that. Hey, Oldman. I got your damn glask. Suck. <laughs> Wait, I need more? I forgot he wanted multiple. What you asked me to do? Need two. Okay. Well... It's time to go back to Karumja and buy two more! 
<laughs> Oops. <laughs> I thought he just wanted one. I thought he just wanted one. <laughs> Let's go buy some more damn ashes. <laughs> Not ashes, buckets and sand, but you know what I mean. There's free cadaver berries every year for some reason. I guess an imp must have dropped them. Damn, we gotta do Romeo and Juliet again. Man! Man! Is it worth it? Let's kill an imp. Why? Because it's a task. That's points, baby. I have no uh, dreams of being able to get the fucking dragon trophy, but I want as many points as possible because then I can buy more cosmetics on my account <laughs> and I can play dress up. That's why you do the league. That's why I do the league. I mean, also it's fun to do the league, but dress up. Uh, free shears? It's not bad. It's not bad. Some more prayer? Off we go. Off we go. I gotta take a break soon. Make myself a damn lunch. I'm gonna run somewhere that doesn't filled with scorpions, though. So that I don't get bit by scorpions or snakes while I'm AFK. <laughs> I'm gonna go <laughs> over here <laughs> where it's safe. And I'm gonna buy more bucket sand. Give me those fucking sand, I'm agreed. There we go. Okay, now it's break time. Now I reckon I get up and have a stretch. Ooh, stretch. <laughs> get up and have a stretch yourself. Yeah, ask. The banknote thing is fucking ridiculous. Uh, and then if you pick Endless Harvest, it is just kind of like, okay, well, I might as well just pick Fire Sale then, you know? Unless you specifically want to banknote, like, consumables in, like, combat content. But then even then, it's like, well, then why did I pick Endless Harvest? It's a, it's a whole decision you gotta make. There's a reason why a lot of people were like, I don't think I want Endless Harvest this time around. Alright, I'm getting up. It's a stretch time. Yeah, I'm gonna make a sausage for lunch. And so I'll probably be back in a little bit longer. But, uh... See you, see you soon.
I have a little sausage in a bun and some cabbage and onions and some potatoes chip. I'm gonna eat that uh, instead of trying to juggle playing and eating. So let me just change the text. There we go. I'm gonna put that shit in my fucking mouth now. Oh, I've been looking forward to this. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yep. That's the sausage. How'd she know? How'd she know? How sausage is this sausage on a scale of 1 to 10? 10. How'd she know? How'd she know? It's amazing. Uh, my dinner plans did get changed. Uh, my mom was gonna pick up some uh, Chinese takeout from a local place and we were gonna have it together tonight. But uh, now she's gotta work late. So... I gotta do something else for dinner. But... That means I can wrap up stream whenever I want instead of having to wrap up stream at like 5 or something. I hope you like the sound of me opening up a bag, by the way. You gotta make a new character when you go to pay to play? No? No, you can upgrade an existing character. You don't have to roll a new one. know what I'm eating for dinner. Um, I gotta figure that out, I suppose. I don't know what or when. Nah, I don't got stuff to make burger. Ain't got that in the house right now. Don't want to go out and order food. If we're going to be ordering other food sometime later in the week. something out, you know? Something like that. More and more every day people are saying this, yeah. It's true. check and chat uh, a lunch check a dinner check a snack check it don't matter what you got what you munching what are you gonna be munching I'm seeing multiple people say bagel you're living the dream congrats Peri Peri chicken? Fuck yeah. I don't think I've ever had Peri Peri. I've seen at least a couple of places around here. By around here, I mean like in town, so not at all around here, but... Pulled out a whole roaster last night. Fuck yeah. 
Enjoy that. Enjoy that roast. Enjoy that soup. Investing in soup futures. Yo, hang on, Osk. That reminds me. I gotta get that up on screen. People gotta see. People gotta know. Um. Well, this is Grendel's. That's not what I wanted. Um. You can look at my Grendel's for a bit. Um. What did I fucking save this file as? Um. Is it just Uni? Hang on, where is it? Well, that's Uwe. That's not what I- that's not what I picked. But sure. Um... Did I not save the picture? Okay, well anyways, Uni ate a whole roast chicken today. Smile. All you need to know. My cabbage is good. By the way. Can I copy the sticker link and just get the embed off Discord? Yeah, but... I don't fucking wanna. <laughs> I'm eating my damn lunch. Lunch is a vacation, if you think about it. It ought to be. It ought to be. More and more people should treat lunch that way. A guard caught you stealing, so you safe spotted them behind the stall. Someone ran up and started pickpocketing them? Let's go! Co op stealing is awesome. I love when the game enables goofy stuff like that. They're like. Straight up adding a mechanic like that to Varlamore, where, like, there's, like, a thieving thing you can do that gives you an item that you can give to, like, local street urchins, and they'll be like, Oi, mister! I'll distract that rich bloke over there for ya! And then everyone can start stealing that rich guy together. <laughs> Which is really fucking funny. RuneScape social code is unhinged? Not even especially, I would say. That's just video game-ass video game activity to me. Unhinged in a good way? No, even then, I don't agree. <laughs> it's normal. I'm almost done my lunch, by the way. Which could be good or bad, depending on your perspective.
Have I ever eaten so fast I got hiccups from it? I don't gotta eat fast to do that. My diaphragm is weird. It just happens. This is good lunch music, yeah. Bad lung havers got weird diaphragms? We sure goddamn do! Yippee! Need to play one day? Well, if you specifically want to play the League, good news is you got two months before it ends. But if you just want to play RuneScape normal, good news, you've got... Until they decide to close the video game, I suppose. Sausage is done. But I still have delicious cabbage. Her ass is about to enjoy delicious cabbage. Think about it. Leftover sweet and sour pork? Fuck yeah. Red cabbage? Nah, it was just like a... I don't remember what cultivar, just, you know, your bog-standard North American green ball from the grocery store type of cabbage. Stir-fried with some, some garlic and onion. Seasonings. Ingredients. Is this the green ball stream? No, 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 no. Green ball stream has yet to happen. If you do remember the subathon, I do still have to play with my balls on stream. That hasn't happened yet. lunch plate away so that I don't just have a fucking dirty dish laying on my, my, my desk while I'm trying to play a video game. So I'll be back in a, like a minute or so. I did it. Oh. oh, 
they done fucked up and let me wash my dishes. Oh! Pretty soon, they're gonna be clean. Oh! You wanna play a video game? Let's play a video game. Let's teleport to Mistalin. And we're gonna go there? And we're gonna... Get set on fire. Ah! It's fine. Yo! Raw trout. Just for you. Go on and take it. Pick it up. Oh, what's that? You're, a, you're an Iron Man? You can't pick it up? Well, what's wrong? It's right there on the floor. Just take it. Smile. What's the matter? What's causing you problems? Uh -huh. <laughs> what's the problem? Uh -huh. My crafting level 10 now. Leveling up in RuneScape is so easy. Hearing a scary explosion sound in RuneScape is so easy. Like, what's the issue? Like, what's wrong? Like you, try to help you. What the matter? A wise old man. A wise old man. I got your damn glass. A fucking cadaver berry seed? Okay, man. Okay, man. <laughs> Let's look at our relics. Now we can pick Globetrotter, or we can- Oh, right, I have to go to a bank. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Bit- bit delayed, bit delayed. <laughs> now we could pick Globetrotter, or we could pick- again. It's that easy. <laughs> Thank you, Hank Romento, for the 25 months. Much appreciated. It's that easy. All right, Fairy's Flight, let's go. What's the passive from that again? Our multiplier is now times eight experience and times three minigame points. Let's go. Let's go. Yo, we got someone out here with the pride sweater. Let's go. I need that. I need that. It's needed badly. It's needed badly. Okay, sure. 19 more tasks until the next area. Uh, you get them from... Gilbert near... near Verhawk. I think, right? Like the, the area over here? You get them from Gilbert Grape, yeah. What's eating them? There's a hole here. There's a damn hole here. Strange hole. Hey, what's this strange hole? I don't want to go down there. I don't want to go into a weird hole. Goodbye. Can't stand a weird hole when I see it. I truly hate to see it. Hang on, was that him? Gilbert spotted? Alright, pathfinding, run me over. I'm gonna eat a single potato chip. A pretty good potato chip? Gilbert, my man. 
what you got for me, buddy. Give me that flower crown. Thank you kindly. Hey, man, what you got for me? Give me that sweater. Oh, I gotta go talk to Dianga for that one. Okay. Wait, no, I don't. Never mind. I just misread that. Okay. Change style. Transgender. Put that shit on. Change style. Lesbian. Put that shit on. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. It was needed badly. Now we're cooking. Now we're cooking. Ooh, she cooking. Well, while we're fucking here... We might as well talk to that bitch, Romeo. We fucking might as well. Where are you, dickhead? Where are you? Can't see you. Where is your poncy ass? Where? Where is he? A actually, where is he? I don't see him. <laughs> Romeo? <Right? laughs> The one time you fucking want him and he's not there! Is he in someone's house? Well, I gotta go talk to this old woman and get a story from her, so- Wait, there he is! There he is! You dickhead! Uh, I have seen her. You wanna- you wanna fucking- you, you, you wanna bone? You wanna have sex? Not with me. Alright. Oh, uh, okay, thanks. Later, hater! Can't stand this bitch. I wish Romeo was burnt away, but no! They have a whole ass league task for him! The audacity! The audacity. Alright, so many people are fucking up the Dark Wizards because there's a task for it. To get your revenge on the Dark Wizards. Ah! Five hit points! <laughs> do we just have infinite run? We sure fucking do! It's the first passive you get. Mmm, red berries. Mmm, red berries. Mmm, red berries. Oh, red berries. Mmm, red berries. Oh, red berries. Oh, red berries. I'm out. No, I'm going this way. I don't want to get blasted by a fucking wizard again. Fuck that. Ah, oh, it's beautiful to see the mining so healthy. You've never played RuneScape, should you try it? You can try the free-to-play stuff, it costs zero money! You should try it if you think you want to try it, and you shouldn't play it if you think you don't want to play it. It's that simple. Oh, Jesus. Ah, this is a test of Quebec Alert Ready. There is no danger to your health. Oh my god, there's a text to speech? It's trying to read French! There is no danger to your health or safety. If this had been an actual emergency, you would now hear instructions for protecting yourself. For more information about emergency alerts, please visit www.alert.gov.qc.ca slash n. Alright man, thanks. 
<laughs> Warning! There's no danger! <laughs> Look at how! <laughs> That's awesome, man. I'm glad I'm safe. Put my damn berries away. I'll take one berry. I don't need one berry. Excuse me, I have the hiccups now. Put these away. Put my hat away. Put my damn bead away. I don't need that shit on me. Um, put my arrows. Put my fairy mushroom, I suppose. Ooh, and I can teleport wherever I want now. Yippee! You have to run errands? You're gonna leave this on so the cats can watch? Let's go. Let's go. Cats across the nation. Love to watch. Uh, Twitch.tv slash hollow underscore tones. Play RuneScape. You hate that fucking sound? That's the point! They make that sound loud and bad so that when you hear it, you go, Oh, Jesus Christ, it's that fucking sound. What's going on? And so when and if there is an actual emergency, you'll hear it. <laughs> Alright, man. What's going on? Alright, message. Alright, let's go talk to J Romeo again. Go see Dr. Cornfield after this. Wait, wait, wait. Pet dog? Pet dog? Pet dog? Pet dog? Pet dog? Come back? Pet dog? Pet dog? It's that easy. It's literally that easy. They're calling her the genius of RuneScape Leagues. Do they have little bugs and dirt and leaves in this one? Oh, my friend. They got leaves. Oh, they got leaves. And if you look over here... Dirt. Who's this bitch? What's wrong? Two-tailed pheasant. Die. Now bring me the raw pheasant. All right, you can leave. This is more of a tits tits out kind of league, I guess. All right. Well, back to Romeo. <laughs> No, girl, put those nasty things away. We're talking to fucking Romeo. You can take those puppies out later. <laughs> Here's a message for you, dickhead. Da -da 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 -da. All right, all right. We got no chance. Go talk to Father Lawrence. It was really funny when I screamed his name that one time. Uh, okay, thanks. Bye bye All right. Now I can take the tits out. Now that we're going to church! <laughs> I hadn't thought this through, but oh well. We're living. Where is it again? Just a little bit up ways. Oh no, this is the church of Sarah Doman. This is not Boobs Church. That guy's name is Lord Coomer. I feel like I can sue. Hey, Father Lawrence. What's good? Alright, man. Let's go get that bad potion. Let's go get that bad potion. It's time for that bad potion. Let's go get that bad potion. Let's enjoy that bad potion. It's time to eat the bad potion. Hang on. Hang on. Hang, hang. Hold up. Real quick. No, you type it here. Okay. There's no... 
there's no task for drinking the Kadava potion. I needed to make sure if there was a task for the Kadava potion for drinking it, I would get it. But there isn't, so I won't. Yo, big boy coming through, stomping through. Is there a task for reading the newspaper? I'm seeing all these fucking newspapers dropped all over the place. Can I have a newspaper? 50 fucking coins! Jesus, alright. Expensive goddamn post. For the achievement diary. Okay, well, maybe if I read it? Uh, obituaries. Goblin, died. Giant rat, died. Unicorn, died. Three Verrock guards, died. Bear, died. Lowe's Alchemy Emporium for the finest ranging weapons- Oh, Archery Emporium. This is the fancy dress shop for all your party outfits. The Dancing Donkey. Cold beer always in stock. Oh, and then there's a link to just, uh, the online post they do sometimes. Cute. I guess that was an easy task for the Verrock Diary, so... Alright, well, I'm, I'm close to broke now. Let's go to the Alchemist. I hope it doesn't cost any damn money. I don't think it does. I think it's just the, the berries. Hey, man. Where are you? There you are. Are you not wearing shoes? Oh, you got sandals on. Never mind. I thought you were just full-ass barefoot in your potion house. Uh, talk about something else. Talk about Romeo and Juliet. You got the goods for me? You got the goods for me? Thanks, bro. Alright. Let's go talk to Romeo. Oh, Romeo, oh, Romeo. You're gonna be stuck in that shop forever, given how many people keep coming and talking to you. Okay. We go give it to Juliet. Three stream streak? What the fuck is that? I don't know what Twitch feature that is. That's my first time seeing it. <laughs> Congrats, I think. Is that is that is that good? Is that bad or good? <laughs> Someone needs to tell me. I'm not quite sure how to computer. Alright, go to the scary crypt, drink the bad potion, die. Hey girl, your tits are out too. Let's go. So sad. Hi old man. Bye. Well, that's all. <laughs> We go. We go see Womeo. Alright, put those puppies away, because we're talking to this bitch. Uh, is the League noob-friendly? Um, I mean, I haven't done 90% of the content in this game, and the League specifically gives you a bunch of ridiculous power-ups to make doing the content easier. So I would say it's noob-friendly, as long as, you know, willing to use a wiki every now and then. Alright, man, the bad potion. The scary potion that takes you to the scary world. Let's go to the nightmare world. Harass is not alive no more. Oh, Juliet! Alright, done. We literally don't even get any special rewards for it. Because that quest only gives you quest points. Which is so goddamn funny. <laughs> All 
Alright, tits out. Let's go. Um, what else can I do in Varrock? Let's see. Uh, Varrock. I keep typing in the fucking chat bar instead. Stop doing that. Cut it out. It's a little bit annoying that when I open up the, the League's menu, it doesn't automatically know that I want to type into the search bar. <laughs> okay, steal from the tea stall, do the Barrock Agility course, Natural History Quiz is easy. Have Elsie tell you a story. Okay. Uh, who's Elsie again? What does it just say? Let's see. Elsie. Who the fuck Elsie? Let's look this up on the wiki. <laughs> Yo, Elsie, where are you at? Who are you? Also. Uh, knitting a stole for Father Lawrence. Oh, she's in the church. Okay. We go, church. Again. Tits out for the church for the second time in a row. Let's go say hi. Let's check her out. It's an old woman-friendly stream. Oh yeah, the damn sewers. Burn everything? Oh, you bet, boss. We go upstairs. Alright. Talk to Elsie. Hey, Elsie. Can you tell me a story? Alright, get her a nice cup of tea. I'll think about it. Let's go steal tea. Um, as long as the tea stall is, you know, not being camped. I need to do that for a task as well, anyway, so... I have a delicious clementine on my desk. I should eat that. Thank you, Seti Hunter, for the raid. Hope you had yourself a wonderful stream today. I'm about to steal. I gotta steal. I need to steal. It's needed badly. Begin stealing. Let's go. Too late. Begin stealing. Let's go. Too slow. My reaction times, no! <laughs> I'm the queen of the tea stall. I'm stealing. I'm stealing, I'm stealing, I'm stealing. Mine? Mine. I do like walking around with my funny mushroom. Mine? Mine? How's everyone doing today? I hope you've had yourself a wonderful Wednesday so far. My day's certainly been nice. You know, league aside. The weather's nice today. There's a real possibility that I end stream even earlier than just dinner time and go for a second walk <laughs> because it's really nice out today. Uh, and the weather's gonna get a little bobo bad pretty soon, so enjoy it while it's here. You know? Six a.m. on a Thursday for you? Damn, you're up late or early. Depends. <laughs> I wonder if there are any tasks for ruins of Camdozel. Camdozel, Camdozel, whatever. Does the number one Camdozel streamer have to go back to her old stomping ground? Okay, my inventory full. My ceiling is 20. Let's see. What can I do with 20? You do ham follower. You do silk stall eventually. 
uh, chest and Arduin relica in the wilderness. I don't know if I'm going to get any of those unlocked. Um, I'm close to the Sorceress's Garden, Alcarid. Let's check our tasks. Let's see. Okay. Uh... Open an ornate lockbox. Okay. So you do have to do Camdozel so that you can get lockbox. <laughs> That's all you need to do there. <laughs> uh, is Beneath Ice Mountain the quest? Yes, but it's not a it's not a task in and of itself. Cool, okay. You shouldn't start playing. I mean, you got two months if you wanna if you wanna get in on the league. But also, you know, if you are doing school or something, maybe don't play RuneScape. This is not a <laughs> playing RuneScape is not really conducive to you know also being able to focus on <laughs> getting a graduate degree. Unfortunately. All right, let's go tea this old woman. I hope that's a sentence that doesn't have some kind of scary double meaning. Pretty soon we're gonna set this woman up on a golf tee and swing for the fences. Which could be good or bad, it depends. Hello, woman. You can have it. I'll tell you a story to thank you for the lovely tea. A long time ago, when I was a little girl, there was a handsome young man living in Verrock. I saw him here in the church quite often. Everyone said he was going to become a priest, and we girls were so sad about that. But young Dizzy, oh, that was the young man's nickname, he was a wild young thing. One night, he gathered some lads together, and after the evening prayer meeting, they all put on masks and sneaked down to the evil temple in the south of the city, the evil one. <laughs> the famous evil temple that we all have and know about. The next day, there was quite a hubbub. The guards told us that someone had painted Saradoman Pones on the wall of the Zamorakian Temple. Shut the fuck up! Come on! Now, we'd always been taught to keep well away from that dreadful place, but it really did us all good to see someone wasn't afraid of the scum who live at that end of town. Old Father Pack is furious, but Dizzy just laughed it off. Dizzy left town after that, saying he wanted to see the world. Oh, it was such a shame. He had the most handsome shoulders. The young man came here looking for stories about Dizzy, of course. That's not his proper name, but his friends called him Dizzy, and I told him that one. He said Dizzy had become a really famous man, and there was going to be a book about him. Oh, that's all good, but I do wish Dizzy had just come back to Varrock. I did miss him so much. Well, until I met my Freddy and we got married, but that's another story. Thank you! It's that easy. Ten points for being nice to old women? It's literally that easy. Why aren't you already- do why aren't you doing it? Why aren't you doing it? What's the matter with you? Let's see. Uh, is Daddy's home one of these? No. But I should do it. I don't remember how you start it. Did I start it by talking? I closed your damn door. That's the wrong house. I'm going to- I'm breaking into someone's house because I think it's the construction place. Alright. Uh, hey. Hello, hatted man. How did I get a house? I want to buy a starter house. No, I can't afford that. Wow, you're a dickhead. Talk to Marlo. Hello. I could do you a favor. What kind of favor you want? It's my dad. His house is really decrepit. I need someone to rip out the broken furniture and build him some better stuff. I'll pay you if you do it. Uh, tell me more about the... Why does his house suck so much ass? Some kind of economic downturn wiped out his pension plans. It happens more often than you'd think. Oh boy, does it. <laughs> but I'd rather not talk about it. Can you help him? Yeah, tell me more. I like getting paid. 
rip out the broken furniture, then build replacements. Dad will talk you through it. He's a retired carpenter himself. He loves talking about construction. Tell me where he lives, I'll do the job. Uh, southeast of Verok, west of Aubrey's Rune Shop. His name's Yarlow. Old Man Yarlow. Hang on, hold that thought. I gotta kill this imp. Let's fuck this thing. Wait, no, I don't have a bow equipped! I forgot to put my bow on. <laughs> well, it's gone! <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, sure. <laughs> oh, where is it? Where is that man? Where is old man Yabo? You're just man. Oh, I see. It's in this house where all the people are. This house has people in it. I see. Uh, hello, old man Yabo. Hey, why are you here? Same reason as these 30 other people are here. We're gonna fix your furniture. My boy Marlo? Yeah, he sent a whole bunch of people today. You're like the 3,000th. My house is in an awful state. No one's been able to get it done. <laughs> uh, replace all the furniture. Demolish. 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 Demolish everything you see. Tear it all down. Let's fuck this place! Alright. I've removed all the furniture. The old camp bed and the rotten carpet. No more carpet. No more bed. You're sleeping worse than Stardew Grandpa today. Let's go. It's all gone. Alright, now we gotta build it. Uh, used to be a carpenter before the arthritis got me. Let me tell you about construction. Let's learn all about construction. You can get a house. I'm gonna skip through this because I know the gist of it, and also I have to do it on the normal servers eventually. If you want to know all about this quest and not have it skip through, you can either do it yourself or wait <laughs> two months <laughs> or whenever I get tired of playing the League. <laughs> If only removing furniture was as easy as swinging your arms and making things disappear. I mean, hey, if you can swing your arms hard enough, smile. You can unlock really handy features. You can have a really nice damn house if you want. Or not, it depends. You can build a teleportal. You can pray. Importantly, if you want the best prayer XP from your house, you need to pick Fremenic. You need to pick Fremenic this league because that's where you get gold leaf from to make the best uh, prayer altar. I don't remember if it's gold leaf for that or not, but it's something you get in Fremenic for the best prayer altar. You can have 3,000 cats here if you want. You can make a damn throne room. You can send people into the bad place that caused the Falador massacre. It's that easy. Warrior Wilderness also boost your prayer? Right, but I'm talking about specifically the altar in the house. Specifically the one in construction. That's why I said you need it for the construction one, for the house one. Two new stools, two new tables, and a new chair. New carpet. Some wood that resists water. Waxwood logs. Yum yum. Take three logs from the crate to the sawmill. Two stools, two tables, a chair, a bed, and a carpet. Off you trot! Okay, what was the check of the quest? Let's see. Mini quest, Daddy's home. 
Two stools, planks and nails, planks and nails, planks and nails. Cloth and sawmill. All right, we got pay for that shit, don't we? Nothing in these boxes. It's these boxes, isn't it? Let's see. Waxwood logs. One single dwarf that enables endgame construction. There sure is. Come to Keldegrim in the next 20 minutes if you want a house kissing. Imp? Imp? This time I'm equipping my fuck bow. Hey, hey, blast him. You dickhead! Okay. <laughs> well, easy come, easy go. Okay, let's see. I'm just gonna look up Daddy's home on the on here again. Five bolts of cloth can be bought from the sawmill for 650 coins per bolt. We gotta buy the. F oh Jesus, that's expensive. Damn, okay. I need to make some fucking money to finish doing this, I guess. Let's see. Uh, yeah. Purchase your steel nails and five bolts of cloth now if you need them. Where else can you get bolts of cloth? Uh, yeah. You can get them from the Mahogany Homes crates. Otherwise, you just have to buy them for two, 650 a pop. All right, well, I thought this was going to be real easy, but nope. We need to make some damn money. Uh, so I'll worry about that quest some other time, I suppose. Wait, I can- Wait, wait, wait. Hang on, I- I get a genius's idea. Uh... Put this shit away. I'm having the smart gamer's idea. Hang on, hang on. Uh, withdraw all my herring. Withdraw a bunch of shrimp. Have I done Stronghold yet? No, that's my genius idea. Maybe I should put the fucking... No, 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 no. I won't die. I simply won't worry about losing my... Actually, no, I might lose my later hosen. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> let's see, let's deposit one herring and then we'll uh, take our shirt off, which of course we were wearing a more substantial shirt under that, as you do. We do have infinite run, so it should be at least a little bit easier than it normally is. And like, worst comes to worst, I can go back to Gilbert for the flower crown, the forestry kit is free. Uh, it's not terribly difficult to make a short bow or bronze arrows. We're literally never gonna have our password stolen pretty soon. It's gonna be so safe. They're calling me the safest gamer on RuneScape. Actually, I do need to take a break. <laughs> I should probably do that now before I end up in the stronghold of security and get bit to death. <laughs> you know? So maybe I'm gonna hang out with Gilbert, my friend Gilbert. And uh, we'll be back in a couple of minutes. <laughs> get up, have a stretch. I'm gonna go wash some dishes because I gotta go wash some dishes. Um, so I'll be back in a couple of minutes. Hopefully not too, too long, but uh, dishes gotta get done, you know? So I'm gonna do them. Uh, so get up, have a stretch, get a drink, maybe get a snack. We'll be back real soon.
I'm done. The dishes. Man. Uh, I love cabbage and all. But, uh, I was washing out, you know, the container the cabbage was in, and, like, the plate that I ate my lunch on. Entire fucking kitchen. That entire room smells like vegetable fart now. Whole place. Whole thing. Let's climb down this hole. Clamber this hole. That's the price we paid, the things we do for cabbages. All right, you are into the stowing hold of security. Now, which way do we go? This way, I suppose. Go down. Twenty second miles. right. Wow, that's uh, nine quarter years. Actually, no, I can just go all the way up top ways. Okay. That'll be good. Uh, thank you, Leah here for that 27 months. Much appreciated. Alright, it's time to learn a lot. About security. Don't get your account locked. Who can I give my password to? Nobody! Don't ever do it! Nobody! This Minotaur just died. Alright, here we go. Run, 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 run! We're good. Uh, is it safe to get someone to level your account? No! Thought I was doing a bit about password security? Fuck no! Welcome to the stronghold of security! Uh, how does that sound? Uh, no way. You're gonna hack me or whatever. You're gonna steal my son. You dickhead. Open, open the gate. Thank you. Huh? Uh, no, they won't prevent me from saying my pin. Don't type your pin out in game. You'll get tricked. Don't get tricked. Literally, don't get tricked, don't get hacked, don't cheat on RuneScape. You win a million dollars. Who is it okay to sh- NOBODY! Okay, open my chest. Yay, congrats! Two thousand dollars! Oh, we've learned the flap emote. <laughs> it's funny every time. I know it may be dangerous down there. Alright, let's see. Let's check the damn map. Uh, yeah, this is the one that's very fast to do, I think. Wait, no, those are doors as well. Um, relatively fast to do. You do just kind of go swing around upper ways through a loop a de loop Hey, man. Uh, I'm reporting you to Jagex. All right, bye. They're biting me already. They're biting me already. They're biting her. All right. Well, it's a good thing we brought all this food with us. For it eventually. Um. Da -da 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 -da. It's a fake. Delete it. Okay. You can kind of figure out the answers to these through context clues. This is all very basic, like, hey, practice online security. Uh, which is mostly for when this game was targeted at, like, children. Most of the people playing this game nowadays are, like, 30-year-olds. <laughs> Let's be real. Can I leave my account logged in while I'm out of the room? No? No? <laughs> What if someone in your house tries to steal your items? <laughs> Wait, we've been offered double XP via in-game chat or email? Dude, I think this League thing is a hack. I'm reporting it. I'm reporting abuse. That's what the 
<laughs> That's what the stronghold of security taught me. What if my cat steals the account? Well, I mean, first of all, my cat's dead, so I'd be very impressed if she did that from, like, the grave. It, let, let's be real. <laughs> if she can do that... <laughs> while six feet under? I think it's her account now. <laughs> I'm reporting you to Jagex. <laughs> Alright, open up. Give me my shit. <laughs> Sorry for your loss, but also that would be rad. <laughs> You're right. You're right. <laughs> oh. Your password is most secure when it's never changed over months and years. Correct. Okay. Give me the goods, big old sack. What you got for me? Money and slap heed emote. Yes, I know it's scary in there. Okay, so where do we go on this one? Just have a good password and you never need to change it? Right, it's that easy. What's the problem? <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong? <laughs> Doesn't matter, my password has like seven numbers in it! So from here I want to... Just go right all the way, just go right all the way. Okay, just make a break for it all the way to the right. Uh... Um... Don't tell them anything and, and then report them. Okay. Always report everyone you see. They could be doing something bad to you. Um, I can eat a shrimp for full health. Let's go. Let's go. Right, if the password is already so good, why would I bother changing it, Smile? That's just a waste of time. That's not efficient. RuneScape is all about efficiency, Smile. Okay. Uh, and, uh, report them. What do you do if anything happens? Report them. Can I go, please? Ooh, that's four. Okay. Sorry, Kotobo Pond. Uh, loud and clear. I gotcha. Uh, make me a player moderator. It's fake. It's fake. It's fake. It's fake. It's fake. Everything is fake. Report everyone. Never type in your password, and there are no cheats on RuneScape. It's that easy. I hit the wrong thing because I thought it wouldn't be a longer question. It let me through anyways? What? <laughs> okay. Yay! <laughs> Nothing like a nice cup of tea. Oh damn, there's just like straight up shades in this area to start. That's dangerous. That's scary. Um, it is... Doesn't matter if we swing a left or a right. And left, down, right. Okay, so... Up, left, down, right. So, up... What's up, uh, player moderator? It's fake. It's fake, 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 it's fake. It's not real, it's fake, 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 it's not real. Fuck, it's fake, it's fake! Let me in. Let me in, thank you. Don't die! Sure thing, man. 
<laughs> oh, you got it. Loud and clear. What do I do if my account is compromised? Post on social media about it! Open the door. Open the door. Open the damn door. Let me in. 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 Let's go. It's that easy. <laughs> Your real life bank pin? <laughs> I, I feel like none of those are terribly good options, honestly. <laughs> Just pick some random shit you're gonna remember. Don't make it like an actual date or anything that's easy to guess somehow. Alright, a million dead people scream at me and I can get my prize. Uh... You know what? I'll get the fanciest ones. I'll get the gay shit kickers this time. Let's go. I get idea. It stomp my feet, flap my arms, and slap my head. All right, now we're so secure. It's that easy. It's literally that easy. I'm injecting your thoughts with me. Don't think about it. Who are you? Naming your password after an old obscure bit from a streamer you watch so you'll never forget it? No, no, no! Then they're gonna guess your password! They're gonna know that you watch German83 or whatever his name is. They're gonna know all about the German streamer you watch. Hey man, it's nice to meet you. What's going on? This motherfucker's password is Tabuskis! Get their ass! Steal everything from their bank! Now! For legal purposes, this is a joke. No one came to help you and it's so sad you died. Why are you here? Who are you? I think I already clicked on that one. I did. No one helped you and you died. It was so sad. Okay, bye! All right, bye! I've got everything. All right. Now that I have all this money, it's time to spend it on fucking furniture. It's time to spend it on fucking furniture for someone's dad. Not even my furniture. Someone's dad. Any idea which area I'll unlock first? Yep. This Clementine is good. Alright. Put my scrimps away. Put my herring away. Pickaxe. We are about to go fucking mining. We need to make fucking nails. Actually, hang on. Let's see. Um... Mine. Mine copper ore with a steel- mine ore with a steel pickaxe. Uh, da, 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 da. Adamantite at the blast mine. We'll do that eventually. Uh, we have the rune pickaxe, volcanic mine, gold nuggets, da, 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 da. let's see. Um, I want uh, type easy area mistlin type skill. Uh, oh, I thought there was going to be one for like specifically mining like at the Lumbridge Swamp. I guess not. Securing my account has let me purchase real estate? It's not even purchasing real estate! It's let me go to someone else's house and fix his carpet! It's that simple. 
Oh, we'll be getting the hammer and fixing that wheel, just not yet. That comes in time. Alright. No one's on these coppers. Which means it's all for me. Level 2. So I want 13 so that I can get a full inventory. Yo, thank you, Atomic Quote, for the resub. Mining rocks and stone. You fucking bet! It wouldn't be a Holly stream of RuneScape if I wasn't getting up to some absolute pervert shit in the mines. You know how it is. You know how we do it around here. My Clementine's all gone. Which is really sad. I have really good news, though. I have a second Clementine. <laughs> I came prepared. If, if you're out here doing this shit like I am, spending multiple hours in a day sitting down playing this, number one, you need to take regular breaks. Number two, you need to drink plenty of fluids. Number three, you need to make sure you have multiple clementines. What's one fucking clementine gonna do? It's not gonna satisfy you unless it's huge. You're gonna need two. You're gonna need two. You're gonna need two. It's- it's literally that simple. Get two. All these other RuneScape players are out there like, Oh, this is the most efficient route if you want to do X or Y. This is the quickest route to get the most points possible. No, 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 no. I'm the only one out here who's gonna tell you to get two Clementines. Who the fuck else is gonna tell you that? You think only Trails is out here helping you fight Scurvy? Okay, someone else is on that rock. I'm not gonna steal it from them. You think the J-Mods are out here telling you about a delicious citrus treat? This fucker is stealing my rock! You dickhead! Yeah, you steal that other person's rock. Let's get these. Let's get tin. You think Wooks has the treasure trail solution to getting a delicious treat? You think Hanani is gonna tell you about the humble joy of getting two clementines? No. I alone am here at the peak uh, of RuneScape video makers. I mean, as far as live streaming is making a video. Making a live video. I can't think of any other YouTuber or streamer names of, like, people that do RuneScape stuff, uh, that I can make fun of for not knowing about eating two clementines. It's not even making fun of them, it's just saying their names. <laughs> Remember some RuneScape guy named Zezima? No clue. You're about to say Zezima Balls or something, aren't you? You're gonna trick me, aren't you? That was a trick. You got me so good. Admit it. Admit it. All these people with their one chunk Iron Mans, they're not out here telling you to eat a single chunk of delicious citrus. There you go, got it in one. They're giving me a trick and I'll fucking hate it? Right! Tonight's the night they get their revenge on me! <laughs> Don't get on my bad side, mate. I'll fucking kill you. 
All right, mine ten tin ore. There you go. Uh. Excuse me. I'll be polite. I'll be a nice lady. I won't steal other rocks in case other people want them. If you stay in my good books, I can be a pretty nice guy. My name's Toadfish. I think the one thing from those I always remember the most is just fucking... Well, one is, uh, Homer going... What the fuck are you talking about? But more importantly is... Hey, I'm Mr. Burns. Get out of the way. I think about that one a lot. I'm just remembering a bunch of Bart the General now. Uh. <laughs> wow, Homer! Uh, I'm just gonna bank this for now. And actually, no, I need this to to smelt. So let's turn this into nails. I'm gonna need to get a hammer, but I guess I can certainly afford a fucking hammer now from the Verog General Store. Let's see how many damn bars I can make with this, with my awesome 13 out of one smithing. <laughs> I forgot you get a plus 12 level bonus. I've just got that good good. Girl, I got that good. That good for nothing. Leave me alone. <laughs> oh shit, chocolate bar. Oh, oh. Oh, this guy's already ganking the imp. I was thinking about it. I was thinking, oh, right! I should be using the fucking fairy rings. I can do that. I'm running around like an asshole. Let's see. Yeah, like, I can just I can just see what fairy rings are on here. Let's see. Uh, search. Fairy ring. Uh, I don't think that would show up like that. Let's see. Uh, shopping, training, tutors, agility shortcut. Is there a way to specifically highlight like, fairy rings and stuff to make them easier to see? I don't know. I don't know. Also, let's, let's just try the item, actually. I've got it. No, I don't. It's in my bank. I just... <laughs> Smile. Where is the furnace? It's right here. I have to make a deposit. All right, smelting furnace. Give me those bonds bars. One extra bar in the bank. Let's go. Let's go bank. Give me that shit. Let's go. All right, now. So I got a fairy ring that literally takes me right by the fucking uh, furnace here, which is nice. Where is it in here? There it is. There we go. We got it! Are there any other funny rings around here? Agility shortcut, agility shortcut. Mm. No, I guess I just gotta hoof it back here. I could I could take the ring over here. <laughs> Let's see. Uh D K R And hey, that's 10 points. Let's go. Now I know all about the Donkey Kong. 
Wait, wait, wait. Imp, 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 imp. Never mind. Fuck. <laughs> Too slow. <laughs> What's this person following me? Scary. You're scaring me. Leave me alone. Scary. Okay, go to the general store, buy a fucking hammer, and start pounding that shit. Let's go. Dickhead Romeo got out. Damn it. I was hoping he'd be trapped in there forever. Uh, one hammer, please. I would also like one chisel, please. Thank you. Let's go. Waiter, more hammers, please. Alright, make me some damn nails. 210 nails. Let's go. also need the logs to turn into planks, I think. Certainly I need the, the funny ones. The wax, the wax, whatever. The bailiff whack his pee, -pee logs. Uh, put this away for now. Let's get my axe out in case I need to get more logs. Let's see if there's a, a fairy ring here or something. Let's see. Hot air balloon. Lumberyard teleport, which I don't have. No, so I think I do just have to hoof it out here. From the looks of it. It's just like a yew tree there. I don't think there's a spirit tree here, is there? We walk. Having the fairy ring teleport is very cool, but, um... Part of the problem is now, I don't know where all of the teleports are. <laughs> I have to learn that. That's fun. And scary. I love having fun and getting scared, though, so it's fine. Cal Kestis calls the Imperial Stormtrooper imps. Awesome. What are leprechauns in RuneScape? Well, they're little green men that wear funny hats and have ears. Uh, also, they help you with gardening. <laughs> uh, I want some waxwood planks for old man Yummo. Alright. It's free. Uh, make me some planks. I will take normal. How many do I need? Let's see. Um, ten planks. Well, it's a good thing we got all that fucking money. Jesus. <laughs> they have to be normal planks, too. I guess there's the dying trees in here, but I might as well just get these ones. Damn, someone's getting blasted in that house. That thief is getting thiefed. Of his life. What is that tube here? Oh, it's probably a pillar. Okay. Where's the trees? Here's the trees. Woodcutting level 29. Yippee! Yeah, this is a fucking expensive quest. I suppose it's cheaper than buying a house yourself, but... You know. I forgot it costs this much. Alright, buy plank. Normal. Thank you. Get my ass some logs. Uh, I would also like to buy... How many bolts of cloth... Ten planks, five bolts of cloth. 
That's so much fucking money for cloth, dude! Oh! <laughs> we have hammer. Um, we have nails. We gotta get a saw. And we got waxwood planks. Okay. Where can we- can't can we just get a free saw from the Mahogany Homes building, if I remember right? If I can get a damn thing for free, I'll do it. I love not spending money on stuff. I love to get anything for free at any shop, honestly. I gotta tell you, it's pretty good. Up here, but it's right. See, people are out here like, oh, I gotta figure out a new money method. I gotta figure out any money method. I normally don't care about that. I have to <laughs> now. Uh, saw. There we go. It's a free saw. We got it. Let's go build daddy's house. Hey man, I'm coming to your house, is that okay? I run into your house with like 30 other people, is that cool? If we all tear up all the furniture in your house and make new ones, is that okay? Is that cool? Are you good? If I leave you, are you good? Alright. Build stool. We're gonna accidentally bend a lot of nails. But we got 200 of them. And I guess we can always make more. There we go. Build chair. Slam, 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 slam. There we go. Construction level 7. It's that easy. Slam, 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 slam. All those damn nails. Build carpet. It's that easy. Let's build a bed. My wax bed. Dude, my awesome bed made out of wax. Everyone loves it. Everyone's always asking me for one. They can't get enough of my wax bed. <laughs> Already 18 construction. Let's go. Nineteen. Nice. Alright, Oldman. Is that everything? Go off and tell my boy Mario now. Okay. I don't even remember, do you get a free house from this? I can't remember if this is thanks for helping you get a house now. Or if it's, hey, here's just an intro to construction. This is the wrong house. I went into the- I went into some dude's house! This is Jeff's house! Let's- <laughs> Jeff?! Jeff is rather busy right now. Jeff really doesn't want to talk to you right now. Look, if you could just come back later and talk to Jeff later. Do you not understand Jeff wants to be alone right now? Come on. You're a real dickhead to Jeff specifically, you know? I'm gonna kill this imp now. My ass is imping. Come on, you son of a bitch, where are you? There we go. Uh, free bread! Okay. I'll take it. I still got six arrows! I really need to make more of those! I can totally- can I use- hang on. Uh... 
ranged XP. Uh, I can use up to steel. Okay, so I can totally just start making steel ones. I would have to, you know, be able to mine iron and stuff, but... Let's see, I can mine iron... I can't mine coal yet, so that's uh, our next goal as far as, you know, enabling combat goes. Damn, I saw that fucking Claymates comment pop up, and I didn't notice that it was from Nightbot, and I got really scared seeing a huge paragraph pop up. I was like, who the fuck is spamming my chat room? It's my own fucking bot. Anyways, your dad's got a house. Yeah, what you got? Uh, persuaded the estate agent to let you give you a house of your- <laughs> Damn, I can't spare a lot of money. How's an entire fucking house? <laughs> yeah, sounds good to me. Wait, no, a house is only a thousand coins? I totally spent more money doing this quest, but it's, it's construction XP at least. And we'll get some supplies for free. And some spell tablets. One for visiting my boss in Falador. And some XP, some more. 24 construction. Also have a new house in Brimhaven. Yo, okay. You love to see it. Uh, Brimhaven. Is there a funny ring here? A fairy ring? It's fairly ring. Not there. Is there one near Shiloh? Yes, CKR if I don't want to just get to Shiloh quicker. Okay, so I'll, so CKR for fishing supplies. I gotta write this shit down. Um, okay. Wait, no, I can write stuff down in... In Runelight. Okay. Oh, it's sleep time. Good luck. Uh... Shiloh Village is... CKR. Uh, then we also have Edgeville. I see those ones. Uh, DKR. Cool, cool, cool. Yo, thank you, Medibot, for the 41 months. Much appreciated. They done fucked up and gave me a house. And a box. My damn box. All kinds of stuff in my box. <laughs> I'm not quite sure why I'm saying it like that. Actually, hang on. Fletching. That's ranged. Um, Fletching. I have 27, so I can totally make steel. No. I can make iron, though. I need more for steel. Yeah, it's certainly a time investment if you want to do a lot, a lot in the league, but, I mean, it's up for two months. It's longer than they normally are. Oh, I imagine they'll certainly be time to dabble. Why are you running this way to the bank? Okay. Sure that works. Alright, let's take... more nails out. I had extra nails. Uh, put the Falador teleport away. I'm not gonna be using that anytime soon. Uh, put these away... I need, uh, fletching stuff. Why did I take the nails out? <laughs> Silly. Okay, put the house teleports away as well. I'll, I'll do something with the peen disasters in a second. If I'm gonna be making arrows, then I'm gonna need... Uh, this shit. Put the bow away. Put the bread away. Because I don't need this right away, right away. There we go. Okay. Now. Actually, no, wait, no. I can totally do iron. Let's go get iron. I was just about to get more <laughs> tin and copper, but I can get iron. We're iron out here. Hey, I'm iron in here. I think there's iron over here, right? Let's see. 
Also, we need seven more tasks and then we can go to our next area. That's cool. Is there iron here? Clay. One single iron rock. Two of them, actually. Uh, well. Alright, bud. You can get that one. I'll get this one. We can share. We don't need to fight. <laughs> it's funny seeing ham boots down here. You want some damn ham? Mining level 19. Nice. Come on now, man. Share. Your, your rock literally just respawned. It's a little rude. Ha! You didn't even get it. None for you. Now someone else is taking your rock because you couldn't be patient. probably also look for like somewhere else that has iron that's less contested because damn people are fucking cutthroat here huh they see someone out here and they're like nah no consideration it's mine now law of the fucking jungle Even, even fucking animals in the jungle have more attack than that. Let's see. Copper and tin here. Coal, mithril, and adamant there. That's not iron. Hmm. Where the fuck I can get some iron? Um. Was there iron on Karamja? One iron. Uh, six gold there. Gold there. There's the one iron there. And we could always use the fairy ring to get there. Bit of a risk, but... Uh, I'm getting weakened. I'm getting weakened. I'm getting weakened. I'm getting weakened. no one else will be there, hopefully no one else will think, oh yeah, I'll go to this place with one single iron rock. They'll think, one iron rock? That's chump change. Surely no one's gonna be there doing that. Okay, so. Uh, it was... CKR. Fairy ring. Uh, C. A R South of Taibo One A. All right. The whereabouts was it? Uh, this way. Hopefully, snakes don't immediately murder me dead. Or spiders. It's spiders that are here. <gasps> oh. <laughs> All right. We're out here. We're out here. We're simply out here on the one fucking rock.
It's that easy. Having access to just, like, more fucking iron <laughs> in the desert is gonna be really nice. Pickaxe upgrade's gonna be very nice too. I wonder like when and where I can do that. Let me look that up. Let's see. Uh steel pickaxe. Mine again. Okay. Um I'm eventually getting Asgarnia. So I can just buy it from Nermont there. Other than that, it's um you can get them from elaborate lockboxes in Camdozel! <laughs> once again the once again the game pushes me towards Camdozel. At that point I'd probably want a better pickaxe anyways to do that faster, so. And also I'd have to unlock that area first to do that, I think. Yeah, I would. I would. Because you start with Mistelin and you have to get Asgarnia. Right, okay, so... <laughs> the answer for get a better pickaxe is essentially just wait. Wait, can they give pickaxes? Oh my god, yeah, I can pickaxe- I can- I can pickpocket hand members. I need to fucking do that soon. I can start doing that. Those- those guys are fucking lucrative. Welcome to Hamblazer Reloaded. In this league, we pickpocket a lot. In the ham place, and that's about it. I hope you like it. You, you need to like it. Why don't you like it? <laughs> Look at this! <laughs> that monkey's got a mohawk! Hey, bud! RuneScape monkeys are so cute. They're so cute, model. They are kind of a Devon-ass monkey, aren't they? <laughs> Simple 10, I'll be real, I have no fucking clue what the Enchanted Glade is. <laughs> is this dude trying to fucking bite me, or is he just cooling? I can't tell. Did he get stuck on the rock, or is he just hanging out? Because he's a little bit pointed right at me. I think he wants me. I think he want me. <laughs> I don't know, you seem chill. He's considering biting me. You learning about mining, bud? You learning so much? This really is just a friend. That's great. World's most biteable streamer? <laughs> Many are saying this! Snakes and scorpions and spiders worldwide are saying this! Okay. So let's go back to Edgeville, which was DKR. Uh, let's see. Teleport, fairy mushroom. Fairy ring. D A R Later, hater. Alright. Get me into that damn forge I'm furnacing. I didn't need 
to keep my money on me that whole time. I could've- Man, that would've been disastrous if I died, huh? <laughs> All right, give me the fucking iron bars. Let's see. Three extra in my bank. You love to see it. <laughs> Someone in chat is named Hot Fella. That's awesome. Let's see. Put all my money away. <laughs> It's safe in the bank. <laughs> well, let's get a hammer. Now let's go make some arrowheads. I'm gonna have to go back and buy feathers. Oh, I'm gonna need feathers. I need to fletch. <laughs> Where was the anvil again? It's just over here, right? I think. I think. Oh, I thought I saw a dude just walking normally in this league, and I was like, why are they walking? I realized it was a guard. <laughs> it was not a human. Okay. Iron arrow tips. That's a lot of arrow tips. 75 extra arrow tips. All right. Let's go. Let's get those shits out. I need that. It's needed badly. 660 arrow shafts. Uh, but we need to get 300 feathers. We have... five. <laughs> well, it's a start. Alright. Uh... Well, it's a start. I'll never run out of arrows now? Well, I need feathers first to never run out of arrows, but it's a start. Okay, where the fuck else can I get feathers? Or I guess a feather pack would probably be the most economical. Um, Ava's odds and ends after completing animal magnetism. Nope. Uh... It's just the fishing hut in Shiloh Village. Okay. Well. <laughs> uh, can't go to Port Serum. That is locked. That is uh, Asgarnia. Can't go there yet. <laughs> uh, this is going to get at least a little bit easier when I unlock the desert. Because there's a couple places in the desert that sell feather packs. I could also just murder a lot of chickens. I could, I could. Here's what else I could do. Um, let's go on break. <laughs> it's time for me to get up and have another stretch about. Uh, I got some clementine peel I gotta put in the compost. I gotta get myself some more water. I wanna look outside, because the weather is nice. Um, I have to decide if I'm going to end stream a little early and then maybe come back later so that I can go for a second walk today in the sun. Uh, or keep going. Uh, we'll see. But, uh, I'm gonna get up. I'm gonna do all that. Get yourself a drink or a snack. Have a stretch. We'll be back in, like, three minutes.
Hang on a sec. I hit a button and accidentally way upped the gain on my microphone. Let's turn that down a little bit. There we go. Uh, hi. I'm back. I'm sitting down. I'm in my chair. It's nice out. Um, it's probably still gonna be nice out in like an hour, but it also might be darker in an hour. Uh, but I want a game some more, so... Fuck it. Worst comes to worst, I can go for my second walk today and it's darker out. That's fine. I can live with that. I don't mind walking in the dark. I'm brave. I'm not scared or terrified. I think I'm just gonna do... Fletching Nightmare off stream... tonight? Because we, you, you've already seen me do the fucking run to and from Shiloh Village. <laughs> Let's do some other tasks. Let's see what other tasks we can do. Okay, so easy. All Mistelin. The range in Lumber... We did that. Pickpocket Ham. We could go stealing! <laughs> we could start stealing! Let's see, let's see... Where is Ham Hideout? It's over here. We could just do Lumber Tome Teleport. Let's go steal for a while. You guys want to steal? Ugh, I want to get the fucking frog event. I know one of the tasks is to wear a frog mask. It's needed badly. This- this guy from above, fucking Hans. I saw him, I literally thought that it was an imp, but I was about to start punching his ass out. Uh, how long have I been here? Thank you! It's diary! Let's go ham. Hmm, today I will ham. I'm good. Automod is drunk again? It tends to be. It tends to be. <laughs> is this ham? This is ham, right? This is this is ham? This is ham. Alright, folks, let's ham! The trap door seems totally hello? Yeah, I'll perform it a mime show, I guess. Copy this mime's performance. We got a strange watcher, we got a strange watcher, we got a strange watcher. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Hang on. Crying? Uh. Crying. It's that easy. Waving? Was it think? Was it think? There we go, it was think. Uh, glass box? Very slow, bad juggling? Climb rope. <laughs> Not especially good juggling? Yay! I get mime gloves. Um, oh, pick lock trapdoor. I've never gone in here before. Like, ever. So, like, I don't know how I know if it's openable. There we go. I guess it's- I guess it's like that. <laughs> yeah, I've never done the ham stuff before. It's new to me. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Wait, hang on. Gay scarf? Let's go. 
you love to see it. So I see people have been busy here. <laughs> any food with me, which maybe I should have. Oh well. Oh well. <laughs> what? <laughs> hey man! What's up, Jimmy the Chisel? Awesome, I'm getting arrested. All right, I'm out. It's fine. It's that easy. It's that easy. Let's find someone else to steal. Ow. There we go. It's literally that easy. Free coal? Armor? Damn, free log! Free needle. Free raw amateur. Let's, you know? Let's cook that. Let's eat that right now. I'm feeling better. Iron pickaxe. All right, that's an upgrade. Uh, iron axe. That's also an upgrade. Another iron axe. Can I steal some more food from you? That's coal, no? And I suppose I need coal eventually. Oh, uh oh. Bye. I guess I'll go bank my stuff. <laughs> okay, let's see. Uh, what else? Gotta do the Varrock Agility course. Gotta do ham, not ham, uh, porcine whatever to get that whole quest and do Slayer. I don't have to do the Slayer quest, I just have to get a task. I, I, I have to do the quest, not the task. I just have to get it. That's what I mean to say. <laughs> Put this away, put this away, put this away. Put my damn mime outfit away. Put all this away, put that away. Hey, we got junk to use. Let's take out. Throws money at you, thank you for being the funniest woman on the internet. Uh, bank account. Thank you. Uh, noodles I like. Damn. That's most noodles. For me. <laughs> Thank you for that reset, much appreciated. That's some kind words as well. Tortellini with sausage and kielbasa and feta and pesto. Yeah, that does sound good. They don't let me eat food through the computer no more, though, so... Thanks for offering, but I'll get in trouble. I literally hate getting in trouble. Getting in trouble is a fake idea, but when it happens, it's the worst. Why are people killing the spiders so much? Hang on, is there a spider's task? Is there a spider's task? Let's see. All. All. I don't see no spider's task. Uh, thank you, Boxster Qua, for the 35 months. Much appreciated. I'm having a real good time. Uh, I'm gonna go rob people. 
again. I think they're like a cult, or like they're like a weird human supremacist thing, so it's good to steal from them, actually. There we go. It's just. It's morally just. It's good, actually. Mine now. Stealing from you. Hey, raw chicken. All right, let's cook that. It's free chicken. Free cow hide. I'll need that eventually. Looking a bit like a funny clown with these boots, but it's okay. Eat my chicken. Feeling better. Look, any second- oh. What the? Where am I? Was I? Over here. Staring into their face and reaching into their pockets? That's how you do it! That's how you do it! Look me in the eyes when I am stealing from you! Hey, free tinderbox! I don't want that. <laughs> I'm gonna- I'm gonna drop that. <laughs> I probably want to hold on to a bunch of these things that these dudes drop, but I don't want a tinderbox. I already have that. Another iron picks. More coal. Uh, damaged armor? I don't remember what you do with that. I'll look it up. Bronze axe. Uh, one coin pouch. Another, another leather body, money, more coal, Ow! I'll eat a herring, yum yum, more. Well, bye. If only I could get out of here. If only I could get out of this door. If only I could get out of here. It's that easy. It's literally that easy. Just ask nicely, it's that easy? Literally, what's the issue? Back to it! Ow. Hey, it's an iron dagger. It's not very good, but I have it. Uh, ham logo. What? Where do you- Oh, on your shirt? Oh, that looks so fucking tacky. It's like stretched out all weird over my chest, too. I don't want it. No, I'll pass. Feathers? Oh, we're in it now. We're getting feathers. Let's go. Actually, <laughs> no thanks. 
I don't really want your shitty clip on tie. Steel pickaxe? You bet I did. <laughs> Damn, where am I? Oh, just down the road. Oh, might as well dump my inventory. Let's go. We got the pick upgrade. I need to level up my fucking fighting to be able to hold it. And you're looking like just enough experience. I should use the dagger? The dagger's probably more accurate? You know, the actual weapon that I have? Yeah, there we go. <laughs> it's much better. My attack is 2. I'm combat level 10. They're calling me the straight-up stabber. Let's go. Alright, level 3. It's that easy. One single goblin and we're already attack level 3. It's literally that easy. Attack level four. Continue stabbing. Literally do not stop stabbing. What's the matter? <laughs> Don't really need another hammer. There's another goblin to stab. Sorry, boys, but you're just so stabbable. What is a RuneScape League? Listen, I'll be frank. I've had to explain it 30 times. You could just... <laughs> you could just go on RuneScape.com and see what it is. But the gimmick of this is that... There's only certain areas that you can go to. You have to unlock them manually. You can only pick a couple. And then you get powers. Yeah, like, it's it's pasted all over the website and also the wiki. Oh, Devon, you can post a link whenever you fucking want. You're a VIP, I trust you. This is such delightful stabbing music. Look, what joy, what glee in my heart. A fucking spear? Okay. Cool. Don't mind if I do? Why am I backpedaling from the dude right in front of me? <laughs> Someone's just out here lighting fires while this war zone is going on. That's great. really add to the scene, doesn't it? What a beautiful land we find ourselves in. Alright. 
I should bank and sell some shit. Let's do that. Generally store is right here. Trade. Um, buy this leather body. Buy this dagger. Buy this dagger. Uh, buy this pickaxe. Buy this pickaxe. Hey, that's some money. Buy the spear. There we go. That's some small amount of money. You'll love to see it. Let's go put the rest of our shit away and get back to stealing. <laughs> go up the stairs. Your cats come over? Hell yeah. Cats do love watching my stream for some reason. I've noticed this. I've brought it up before. But I've also noticed it. <laughs> deposit the needle, put this away, deposit all these. Uh, deposit all cow hides, put this damaged armor away, put my coins away. Let's see. Um, take this out to sell, take one of these out to sell, take both of these out to sell. Uh, we gotta take out our arrow tips and our arrow shafts. Use up these feathers now. There we go. Deposit these. We're good. Sell more stuff. It's funny seeing all these, like, shattered League clothes that people are just dropping on the ground and they're, like, fucking glowing and flashing because they sell for a lot on the Grand Exchange. Hey man, you want to buy some more axes? Here you go. Here you go. Here you go. Here you go. Thanks for doing business. I'll see you next time. You'll be locked out in approximately thir Oh, right, it logs you out after, like, a couple of hours, doesn't it? I forgot about that. Well, I suppose that's as good a time as any to wrap up the stream then, and then maybe come back later. RuneScape says you will take a break. Even if you have been taking a break, you will take a break. That's fair. I do need to eat dinner. And I do still want to go for a walk number two. Alright, go down. We're out here. Thank you, Robin Crumb, for the reset. Much appreciated. Dinner. Dinner. <laughs> I like the way the TTS said that. There's so much words all over the floor here. People have been stealing so many words and they don't even want to keep them. Ooh, iron ore. Another pickaxe to sell. Another dagger to sell. Steel dagger. Okay. Best in slot. We gotta get out of here. We gotta get out of here. Let me out. Alright, thanks. It's that easy. Just ask nicely. Literally just ask nicely. It's that easy. There's so many words all over the place. They're making a damn mess. Fish. Who's that? 
Just a normal ass knife? Okay. Damn, out we go, I guess. Might as well sell my ill-gotten gains. Come back in a second. 99 fire making? Let's go. Only with 50 clears? Wow. It's gonna feel fucking great when I get to, uh, <laughs> to core end eventually. Dude, it's Todd's power. Todd's amazing ability. That's a quick old Todd. We'll buy a knife for two coins. Sure, I'll sell you that. Damn. I wonder what the XP gains are gonna be for stuff like the, uh... The Agility Pyramid and Pyramid Plunder then if fucking Todd is that fast. Hey. Imp? No, someone else got it. Damn. Fast, motherfucker. A goofy amount of fletching XP? Let's go! That's fun. I think I'm still gonna go desert first, but man. Skilling at the early game in uh, Korin sounds fucking great. Why are there so many campfires there? Because it's RuneScape! People build campfires to level up! They build a shit ton of campfires to level up. That's what you do in RuneScape. <laughs> there's a ton of them because there's a ton of people in this area right now because the league just started today. Can I, can I go in? Can I come in? Can I come in? Can I come in? Can I come in? Please? <laughs> Please? <laughs> Please let me in? I beg you? <laughs> there we go. Oh yeah, true, I'm gonna have a bigger multiplier by the time I get to Corrent, so... It's gonna be like less than 50 Tods. I- I can't fucking say Todd anymore without thinking about... <laughs> the fucking <laughs> Roblox MMO that like Wade and my friends have been playing. <laughs> the insults they hear kids say on there. People will call you a Todd as an insult, and it means, like, toddler. Uh, if you run away from battles, you're a runner, and that's bad. It, it kind of reminds me of, like, the weird names and weird insults people have in RuneScape, honestly. Like, when people in RuneScape tell you to sit. That shit is so funny to me. Another clue scroll. Let's go. It's an easy one. Nice. Another dagger. I'll sell one. Sure. Iron pick. I'll sell that. Ow! I'm still going. Yeah, but I'm probably wrapping up soon. Uh, just because the game is going to log me out soon in like half an hour-ish. Less than half an hour by this point. Uh, and then I gotta, you know, make dinner and I want to go for a second walk. Because it's nice today. <laughs> you would know Spoon Streamer! <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> One of my friends earlier was talking about how, um... People on Reddit and stuff are fucking complaining about quote-unquote streamer privilege. Where, like, you know, all the big-name streamers got into the game before they could. Just because the login queue worked in their favor. Probably because the streamers woke up at, like, 5 in the morning to do this. Um, 
And so people were, like, belly aching about that. Uh, and my friend was jokingly like, so yeah, basically, you're gonna get into the game really soon. Then I was like, ah, uh, yeah, that would be nice and all, but, uh, I've been trying since I got home from a walk to get in to the game, and I haven't been able to log in yet. Uh, and then literally as soon as I said that, it, it let me log in, so... <laughs> There may be some truth to it. Uh, raw chicken, let's go. Cook that shit. Cook, cook that shit? Cook, cook. Cook that shit? I guess I get clicking on the human person instead. Alright, 30 cooking, nice. Apple pie. Complainer's privilege? A little bit. <laughs> Stealing. Ow. Stealing again. Another leather body. This one's just sitting in the corner. I'll steal from you. Uh, ooh, bronze arrows. Let me equip those right now. Oh, I'm dead. Let me equip those right now. Get him out of the way. Become type L a little bit. Listen, Diddy Kong's got a good fucking ow. Why why try to like improve on or iterate on perfection when it's already there? We've already got it. That's a needle. Thirty-one. The second room of the Jal Savra Tombs and Sophonim. Oh, more arrows. Don't mind if I do. Damn. I don't even need to go fletching. These guys are full of bullets. Yum yum yum. Sandler's in it. Can you say one spoiler, Rooney? You know what? I trust you. Hit me with it. I should probably empty my inventory, actually. Let's go do that. The full ham outfit reduces your chance of being thrown out. Ah. Do, do individual pieces give you a little bit of a bonus, or is it you need the whole thing? <laughs> whole thing, okay. Gotcha, gotcha. I will sell one ham shirt. That's a good sentence. Sell a dagger. Sell an iron pickaxe. Sell all my daggers. Sell my leather body. Sell this bronze axe. Keep the needle in case my needle at home breaks. Uh, bank my shit. Think you've been in Discord calls too often you get freaked out hearing your own name online? That just happens when your name is like a thing that comes up in conversation. Like... <laughs> Anytime people are talking about fucking... Christmas decorations or Christmas carols or certain types of trees, I just go like, yeah, what do you want? Why are you talking about me? <laughs> That's just how it is. Alright. Oh, you go away, you go away, you go away. Put you as well. Knife away. Steel dagger away. Jade away. Needle away. I'll keep this in my pants in case I get more of them. Time to farm for years? Hell yeah, get to those fields, start plowing. They've been waiting for you. <sighs> that, 
This guy's name is Butt Reynolds. That's great. Not even like B U T T, just like B U T. <laughs> That's a really good username. <laughs> Pretty nice, doesn't it? In we go. You have to have a good name is a good rule. I think more people should have to follow it. If your name doesn't make me specifically smile, uh, you're not allowed to do the league. It's that simple. Well, my name makes me smile, because it's my name. But, like, everyone else has got to have a name like Butt Reynolds or Gumby 2. Or Ass Factory. Or Big Wheel. You got you got to have that good name, or, or, or what's the point? All turned around. There we go. Up here. I think it would be funny to be named something like Gupbo Blastmaster. No, sorry. I'm the one judging them, and that one does nothing for me. That name's banned. You're banned from the league. It's that simple. Ran into user Leather Dyke on a free-to-play server. Nice. That's a good one. They're allowed to play in the league, but they're free-to-play, so they can't, I guess. They're allowed to, pay in to play in the league if they get an account that is paid. <laughs> or a bond. Free dagger. A second steel dagger. Can we go for a third? Ah, oh, nuts. I'll eat. Can we go for a third? Nah, just a coin pouch. Ooh, steel arrows though. I'm gonna start getting some of those. No? Okay. Well, I'm in jail now. How do I what am I what am I gonna do? How how am I gonna how am I gonna deal with being in jail? However will I however will I get out? I'm stuck here for the rest of my life. It's so sad, it's so sad. We're stuck here forever. It's that easy. It's that easy. It's that easy every fucking time. I always win. It's never a problem. They, they did just have whole ass logs in their pockets, yeah, but I mean... In their defense, now I do. <laughs> so... Makes sense. Damn, hang on! The waist is snatched? Skinny legend? <laughs> they, they almost killed me for that one! There's a backpack item now? There's a couple backpack items uh, that do various things. This one is for woodcut and stuff. It lets you collect some goodies while keeping your inventory clear. <laughs> if they do add fucking skinny legend as an FF14 title, I mean, I won't use it, but I'll clap my hands like a seal if I see it. 
It's one of the dumbest fucking phrases that is also one of the funniest fucking phrases to me. Alright, I cook a chicken. My ceiling 32. Pickpocket from rogues. Cool. I cook my chovies. I eat my chicken. More. Ow! I eat my chovies. More. Thank you for the feathers. Rusty sword. Ooh, straight up Guam leaf. All right. Clean that. That's a task. Let's go. That gave us an extra Guam leaf. Let's go. <laughs> Mandatory second leaf in the bank. You're also in ham pickpocket hell right now? Oh, no, no, no. This isn't hell for me. I'm doing this willingly and of my own volition because it's awesome. Another jade. More? Oh, we got a ham logo. Let's put that on. That'll make me steal better, question mark. Uh, a, a, another one immediately. <laughs> Thirty-three. Uh, ham gloves. Today I will ham gloves. Hmm, ham glove good. A needle. Uh, more feathers. Let's go. Another rusted sword. Damn, your pockets are full. I'm doing you a favor. It must be heavy lugging all that shit around. There's a crass joke to be made here. But these guys are racists, so I don't care about their boobs or whatever. I can say that about the farmer instead later. Ow! More. More? More. Cowhide? <laughs> hey man, you, you look like you're carrying a lot of stuff there. Can I borrow everything? <laughs> Sup, bro? Let me in. Let me in. I guess let me out. There we go. Yo, thank you, Rocks, for the raid. Hope you had yourself a wonderful stream today. Uh, I'm stealing from racists. Uh, and then also getting logged out in 10 minutes, so I guess the stream's gonna end pretty soon. Yo, steal axe? Let's go. Fuck yeah. All right. We need to teleport out of here because my pockets are full. Put that shit away. God, that teleport animation is fun. I'm excited to get that unlocked in the main game. It's a fun little animation. I like that they let you customize some of the, like, home teleports like that now. I like the way RuneScape does cosmetics, where it's like, yeah, you know, you've got, like... Some items will have, like, alternate skins. Uh, and then other than that, it's like, well... Then you have like dedicated fashion pieces. You can't transmog. You gotta you gotta be out here living that fashion lifestyle. You have a choice to make. You better make it right. And sell another ham logo. Let's see. Put one steel dagger. No, wait, I have one already in the bank, so let's uh, deposit all my feathers. I will sell this leather body. Deposit all these arrows. Put this guam leaf away. Eat the chicken for eating. I don't need the iron axe no more, because I have a steel axe now. Uh, okay, let's get freaking selling. Alright, let's, uh, 
Let's sell my shit, and then I suppose we'll log out with dignity instead of getting auto-kicked. Oh, General Store! Oh, General Store! Buy my shit quick! I gotta go! <laughs> Uh, I'm not sure if I'm gonna stream more tonight. I haven't decided yet. I might. I might just hang out on my own. But I'm certainly gonna be playing more. Ooh, these sell for 30 coins. Okay. I'll have to not just dump those. Finally called you late. Just wanted to say thanks for keeping me virtual company while I crochet. Have a good one, smile. Hey, hell yeah! Enjoy the crocheting. Thank you for the tip. I appreciate it. These streams are fun for just kind of cooling and hanging out. These RuneScape ones especially. It's a good game for that. <sighs> you thought I said genital store. Okay, not my problem. <laughs> You want to go to a damn penis store? You do that on your own time. They don't got those in RuneScape, I think. I think. I think? <laughs> Alright, well, that's my money. I get it. Uh, let's... Log out. Where's the log out button? Where's the... There. My logging out. Good stream. Maybe more later? Maybe not. Uh, maybe more tomorrow. My plans are getting a little bit shuffled around tomorrow. Uh, so I might have to stream something like this instead of my original plans just for the sake of time, but uh, I will see. We got fan art to look at? Nope. We do not. Uh, so that's going to be the end of the stream. Maybe I'll see you later tonight, or maybe I won't. Uh, but hey, thanks for hanging out. Uh, thanks for the tips and the subs and the bits and all that. And uh, thanks for stopping on by. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Uh, make sure you're taking care of yourselves and taking care of the folks around you. And I hope we see you again soon. Bye-bye!